Hi. Anyone Hello. here? Hello. Let's see. I gotta get up. Uh, oh, let's see. Is it Rianne? Ryan? Yes. Ryan, Ryan. Oh, we got 12 Hi. people here. I know we're, we're a couple minutes late starting early, but my sweet babe hasn't been feeling very well. Not good. My mom, Daphne's actually very worried. Well, why don't you go? Because I don't like got clinic free. doctors. They're going to tell me that uh, I'm dying or I have cancer or something. So if I don't, if I don't I acknowledge it. I think you got a it. bug. I think you got a bug. No, it is 100% of migraine, but Amanda. Hello, everybody. Hi, resting bigger face. Um, tomorrow is actually a Thanksgiving, I think, but I went to my mom's house yesterday. She made this huge turkey dinner, and I was already coming off of two days of just like laying on my bathroom floor dry heaving. Mm -hmm. And I feel so bad because my mom worked so hard on this meal, and like I just could not, I could not eat it. I ate Couldn't a really. little bit. I had some Saskatoon pie. We, uh, you know, it, it was fine. And then we watched, and, I, and then I realized like halfway, because I was, as I was driving there, I was like almost running off the road. I was seeing auras because just the weather is just so all over the place. And so within two hours of being there, I'm like, I can't go home tonight. I have to stay here. And then have you, it's nice to have your mom there taking care of you. And then, so then we start this movie called The Luckiest Girl Alive or something. It's on Netflix. It's with Mila, Mila Kunis. Oh, I saw that. It's yeah. Great. I mean, I didn't it's watch it, but easy I saw it. Watch. Easy watch. Easy watch. Even stick. Daphne didn't even get up from her chair once while we were watching it. Um, wow. And I was just sitting there like sweating and just like going through it. And well, then, the nausea could be part of migraines because I get it's migraines 100% too. It's 100% what it is. Oh, okay. Because it just runs, it starts in my head and then it runs all the way down the muscles in my back. Okay. And, and then also my ankles fucked up, which fucks up my hips. So my hips are out of alignment. So I'm just in pain. My back hurts. Aww. So anyway, um, my, my auntie Kim calls and my grandma's there at her house celebrating Thanksgiving. And my mom was like, oh, Amanda gets these migraines. And then you can hear my grandma in the background being like, Oh, let me talk to her. And then they both were telling me, no, this, that's not what it is. You have a sight. You probably have sinus issues because that runs in our family. We all get migraines. And then they're like, Daphne, why didn't you suggest that? And she's like, oh, it just never occurred to me because I don't get them. I was like, great. And they're like, it's your sinuses. And they're like, do you have like runny ears? And I was like, yes, for the past three months, I've had runny ears. Like, what is that? Runny. Mean, runny ears. It just means that it's just, it just runs. Like, especially if I'm like sleeping on it. It just like oh. runs out like wax and just like it's just wet. You need to go to your nose and throat. I go, I throat. go deaf in this ear all the time, so it was like a light bulb went on, and like both of them were like, "Yes, this is exactly what it is." And your back hurts, and you're in bed, and you you see auras. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully so that's, I'm not uh, rolling my eyes at you. I'm rolling my eyes at Scout. Oh, <laughs> he's barking out there. Um, your eyes, your ears stay. Yeah, and this one is just always runny. So get maybe, yourself to the neurologist and an ear, nose, and throat. Uh, I'm probably not going to do that. It's free in Canada. My God, you're living the dream over there. Please. Well, anyway, I haven't please, eaten please, in three please. days, so I'm so skinny. Well, I ate a little bit yesterday, and then I went to bed, and I was just like laying there. I have the fan like on me like this. And right around 1 a.m., I went to the bathroom and just aggressively puked, and then I immediately Ooh. felt much better. But, oh no! Oh oh! There's a beaker face fight in the comments here. Oh, I thought that was okay. There's a resting beaker face and oh, resting beaker face. Melissa. Is that Julie? We can't see. Is that Julie? Oh, I think it's face? Be. Okay. <laughs> all right. We well, love we're all, all friends our here. We faces. can all be beaker faces here. Yeah, yeah we love all OG the... beaker face. <laughs> yes, that's right. Um. um anyway, oh, yeah. bear down, Queens. Bethany says, "Yeah, this is." We'll I have see a. How long it lasts. Yeah, we got. We got. Oh, I mean, ready. come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's always close. But I did wake up today, and me and Daphne did watch this episode, so I've already seen it. I think it needed to happen because otherwise, I would have just been like. Okay. I just wanted to get it in my system and I'm glad I did. And now maybe I can kind of prep you as we go okay, into certain perfect. scenes. So, okay. um, and, and that's why, because now Daphne can pay me back by giving me that elusive lemon ring pie recipe. So well, other she people early on with our you, Facebook so group have, have found it. The sheriff. Yeah. The sheriff. 
Okay, not on our Facebook. Like an international it. foods market or something, and find this Canadian gem. I'm sure it's exactly like every other pie filling. Um, no, I need Daphne's exact recipe though. You don't, but you've, it's not. It's like you've never even had her pie, so you don't even know that it's good. Oh, I mean, come on. I mean, I'm it's gonna be good. Hello. Yeah. Oh, well, no, we're going to go like live it. in a couple minutes. You guys are going to hear Jody's amazing theme song. And then again, stay to the end to hear my busted theme song and oh, video. Stop. <laughs> stop <laughs> but it. it's becoming a thing now. And but thank you guys so much, everyone, that you got us to over a thousand subscribers. Yep. Oh, we're we are raking in that dough. Are you seeing? Oh yeah, we're, we're like almost to a penny, so it no. might start picking up some we're revenue. At seven dollars, <laughs> no? Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Seven whole dollars? Yeah, get it up there. I'm actually really surprised. So hopefully this stream will, you know, have us, have us <gasps> getting up there in the ranks. We can almost get a, a a grande black Pike's Place roast from Starbucks. <laughs> I, I could buy some sinus uh excedrin or something no it's free i thought well, by the way the excedrin migraine is just tylenol ibuprofen and caffeine so if you have any oh. mix of that i did have a yep. diet coke for breakfast that's it. that's good caffeine good. is good for migraines for the most part if you can keep it down Oh, yeah. So in the background here, we have Lizzie's Heritage Retreat. We tried out a couple different backgrounds. We tried finding an RV, but our our big heads block the yeah, whole our bodies. So it just yeah, it, it goes right across like the screen, so. But I, there's a lot oh, of talk yeah. about Lizzie's this episode. Oh, and Jody mm. by the... Oh, I like that pumpkin you have in the background. <gasps> I know, I decorate... Lucy. Which way am I going? Am I backwards? No. You look like, no. the right... You look like you or always do. do. Okay. Is it? Exactly like you always do. Okay, whatever. Yeah. And um, uh yeah. and by the way, when this happened, like I was so miserable watching this whole episode because I felt so awful. But something happens at the end, and anyone who's watched it already, you know what it is, and you're just going to be so so happy. Oh, like, oh don't sorry, Tylenol know. aspirin caffeine. Sorry. Okay. You're right. Um scout somewhere in the background there. Because she loves her mom. Okay, we need to go. We need to okay. we need to press play on our garage band. Yep, well, let's do that right now. So wait, 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 turn our thing off though. Yeah, I'm gonna turn so it off. We're not staring. Okay. Well, well, you guys stay here. Okay. You Everyone relax. You don't need to do anything. We're gonna stop our cameras just for a second. Yeah. Go. Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows, and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows, We Love to Hate TV and Total Request Podcast where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. Hey guys. Uh, oh God, thank you, Jesus. I'm here. I'm here. And all of a sudden, Jody's just gone, and I was like, "Oh God, I have to play the intro now." <laughs> we did I'm it. Here. Got it. Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything, Sister Wives Sunday Edition. My hair is going up in like five seconds. I can promise <laughs> you that. <laughs> so I'm hot. Amanda's getting over a little bit of a migraine-induced illness. A three-day right? migraine, yeah. But we're on the mend. 
I slept at my mom's house yesterday with a fan blasting on me with a cold, wet towel and uh, just my ear leaking under the uh, pillow the entire time because I also Yikes. believe I have probably a sinus infection. Oh, that's, so that's no good. Fun. Now, I just want to, well, oh, first of all, you've watched this episode with your mom this morning. I have not seen it. We did, yes. But I did watch, and I'm curious, let me know or let us know in the comments if anyone watch the more to love episodes that TLC aired last night. I was seeing people talking about that. My mom doesn't have okay. TLC, so we couldn't watch that. Instead, we watched this movie called Luckiest Girl Alive on Netflix. It's great. Definitely okay. To everyone. Anyway, hmm. continue. But how there how was this? are two episodes and you know what? I could I mean I don't know if it's if I can play it on here. Listen, there there's two episodes. It's like the episode two and three or three and four on there. Most of it's the same episode as always, but there's two brief little mini clips within there. And you can scroll right through and you'll see the new scene because it'll have like a yellow square on the side and okay. it'll see like new bonus footage. I can hear myself. If you guys can hear an echo, let us know. It might just be I think it sound fine. this thing. Okay. Um, but it's pretty interesting. Like Robin in one of them does seem genuine. And we do not like Robin. Like we don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Robin. But she honestly well, we seems genuinely Robin. upset. Okay. Uh, well, I mean like about her feelings about it because we think she's sneaky. But she does seem genuinely upset and like wants Cody to get out. Like she wants him to go. And then there's another one about like she wants Jody or Jody. She wants Cody to go. Yeah, like he, she's like ready for him to well, scoot I mean, out, and she does her, seem genuine about it. Even my mom said that today that um, Robin just she's never smiling, and when she does smile, it's kind of like a bitchy. Not I wouldn't even go so far as to say bitchy, just like well, I have just talked. This I don't think this is gonna work. It's more of just like a angry yeah. laugh she never genuinely smiles like when we say beaker face and now we do have two beaker faces we're, we have rival beaker faces in our comments yep. section and she is just always beaker facing out always it's a mm -hmm. and she just is so so unhappy at the yeah. at oh i won't even say it yet because you don't know anything that's happening and mary okay. mary's new like demeanor is that she's constantly talking about how much Cody hates her. And then she just goes like, I don't know why he'd say that. It's very listen, Linda, but a lot more depressing. Ew. She's constantly just kind of being like, oh, he told me to, to get the fuck out. I just, it's weird that he'd say that. That's, That's really her sad. new facial expression. And then meanwhile, there's Christine and Janelle looking like, like two snacks over there. Mm -hmm. Oof. Well, I was going to say, there's another one about, is it Garrison who made the trailer? Who fixed up the trailer? He's yeah. pissed because it's sitting in Janelle's driveway. And he's like, I mean, it's it's just not a clean break. He could go inside. He can get warm. He could use the bathroom, go through his mom's fridge. I mean, <laughs> so he, your son bought a trailer, fixed he wants it up him for to himself, suffer. moved it out, and it's still not good enough. Okay, so and these then, are bonus scenes from these current episodes, not yep. just from random season six. Or nope, okay. just these past ones. And okay. they're, I mean, all together, it's maybe a minute long split between two. But I do like that you can just kind of scroll through and then as soon as you see the yellow square. And then there was another one where Christine said that she told Isabel about the whole conversation with her going back to school, that the four four square, I guess we call it the five of them, the four square I had last week. And she said, she told Isabel, your dad is on board. He supports you going back to school. He'll come see you in the backyard and everything. Well, what we didn't see, we didn't see that part. And then we didn't see Cody saying, yeah, I totally support her going back to school. Like she should. It's her, her only, her last couple of months before she moves away. And, you know, her friends are more important and my friends were more important than my parents at that time. And that's fine. Like I'll catch up with her later. Not a big deal. So it's like, I, I don't on know one where hand... the where's the manipulation coming from? Because it doesn't seem like Rob, like I know Robin has a lot of influence on him. And Janelle even says like, Cody will be a gung ho about something and then he'll go and hang out with 
another wife for a while and then he'll come back and have all these issues. I don't think Robin would say, Cody, I don't think Isabel should go to school. Because mm. it seems like she's just kind of given up completely. Well, it's an excuse that he doesn't have to go over there. So these bonus clips that I'm talking about, TLC aired last night. I don't know if it's going to be on the Discovery app. I don't know if it's going to be maybe like a every Friday, Saturday night thing. But it's they're okay. called More to Love. So I'm guessing if you search your listings, it comes across as a fat sister joke lives more to love. Okay. What's that? Kind of comes across as a fat joke, in my opinion. Oh, I know. I'm like, okay, I get it. More to oh, love. It's our more me. to love episodes. Yeah. Um, before yeah. we kind of get started here, uh, let's do a few pieces of business. Uh, sure. We thank you everyone for getting us to pass a thousand subscribers. Uh, yes. It's awesome. And it's nice having you guys, more of you coming in the chat every, every week. It's awesome. And anything else? Join yeah, our it's Facebook. It's really awesome. Group. It's really Check awesome. us out on Patreon. Well, yeah. you just saw the whole thing that Jody made. Uh, you're going to see Cody acting like a pissed off five-year-old this entire episode. Oof. Like oh more God. so than usual. He's very harumphy the whole time. And he's just, he wants everyone else to be miserable around him. Why is he like that? It's like he can't. So the patriarchy and he was raised to be king Mm, king of the castle king of the castle all right uh, what's coming up on total request podcast this week as always we're finishing up real housewives of beverly hills and sister wives throwback season four on patreon and then on trp oh my goodness it seems like so long ago that we just did it but i know because we had to skip salt lake city notebook. on friday because i was too sick um I it, it'll come to things. us Oh, it's a couple of Halloween episodes. It's Bob's right. Burgers and Greg, Greg Pekaitis. That's Rec. right. Parks at Rec and uh, Fortnite, also known as Fartnite. It's it's not really those. Total just... clips of the fart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So up here. away we go. <sighs> yeah, of course okay, I wasn't gonna... ready. Oh, sorry. I'm excited. Mm. The so last sorry. family gathering. The, this week, it's the main picture is of Janelle wearing orange, which is a great color for her. Orange you is whorish. She, orange is, I think, no, I said orange is whorish. Mm. Um, Janelle. Office would, humor for you. Yeah, she, th she you wouldn't know, think for her to be like an autumn because she's looks such a winter. But this orange is looking she right on her. A winter. I think she can really wear anywhere, anything. Her in that dark army green. I loved it. Yeah, she can wear autumnals. And her and Jen and her and Mary have dueling, um, dueling jackets, and they're talking heads this week. <gasps> it's like really, you'll notice it because like both of them have like this long strip of leather that just goes down like this. But I'm sure they're both Lularoe. I was gonna say it must be. Does Janelle do Lularoe too, or is she just more focused on the plexus? Oh, guys, let us know. She might have dabbled. Maddie did, or Maddie, Maddie still might do it. Because remember, Maddie and Mary yeah. were kind of teamed up. And then Maddie made that oh, nasty right. post about Mary that she took yeah. down. Oh, it was like, I yeah, well, that. some moms are manipulative bitches and no one ever liked them. Yeeks. Oh, by the way, right. we're not doing shots today, guys, just because I like I think I would take a shot and then just blast it back onto the Ooh. computer screen. Let's not we're do not that. Do I have a little bit of... Uh, I have a screwdriver. I have a little bit of box wine. Oh, Don't worry, wow. it's okay. not the same box wine as a week or two ago. It's a new one. No, I, I wasn't worried. All right. Yeah. Um, and Jody, as we go here, remember to um, handle the comment Stay. section. Oh, okay. I'll, okay. I'm taking comments here. Yes. All right, got great. it. Okay. Um, oh, shit. I'm on the wrong season. I was watching season eight last night. Okay, season 17, The Last Family Gathering. Did you already read the description? I'm so foggy. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. Cody worries about tight quarters after touring Janelle's new RV. And Mary feels hurt when Cody suggests she move away to run the bed and breakfast full time. Nice. Then the family reunites for Isabel's graduation party with a bittersweet celebration. Except, oh, spoiler wait. alert, it's a everyone's having fun except for Cody who's sitting there just going... Tossing, tossing his two rump. little curls. <gasps> Today is Robin's birthday, for <gasps> real? Whoa. I mean, I guess happy birthday, Robin. 
you're probably not all evil. I wonder what she got for her birthday. Oh, well, doesn't she something have from um? Oh, what's that store? Victoria's in the mall? Secret. Kirkland's... Oh, Victoria's Secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Oh, everyone's hoping that you feel better. Oh, hmm. thanks, guys. All right. Okay. Should we take it away? Yeah. And I hope all of you guys are drinking for us. Everyone do extra shots for us today. All right, fine. I'll have wine. Okay, I'm more for me than Jody. Stop bullying. Okay. Stop bullying me. Bull. I know it bullying. sounds like I'm going pee, but I'm not. Okay, we're starting right at the very beginning, including yeah. the recap, everything. You guys know how we're Great. doing it by now. And uh, here we go. Previously on Sister Wives. So Isabel initially, like, they were told they could all go back to the classroom. So I would like her to go in person. If Isabel's going to go back to school, then that totally changes everything at your house, Christine. If you go to school, I can't see you. I think that's ridiculous. Ooh. I'm telling my sister wives that I'm leaving Cody. I have decided to leave. I'm going to leave Cody. Well, damn. I mean, what do you say? I'm just processing. If everybody's willing to conform to patriarchy again, I guess. Okay, so I need to pause here because somebody just put in our comments, Christina Bennett. Bennett just said Robin's 45 now. Mm. Jody, she's only like three years older than you, four years older than you. Do, Do we look, look the same age as Robin? You guys are fear for like we look younger than Robin, certainly, mm. right? Oh, and during Thanksgiving dinner yesterday, mm, my mom was like, the thyroid issue is a very big deal, Amanda. <laughs> Jeez. Can we not talk I'm about like, yes, thyroid dinner, please? All the fans know. <laughs> oh, Jen from Real Housewives Recaps is here. Guys, Hi, go Jen. check her out. I'm sure you're probably subscribed to Jen already, but if you're not, yeah, get over there. And she's not just Real Housewives. She's got a, the good intel on the Try Guys, right? Try guys, mm -hmm. um, uh, did a lot of Amber Turd and Johnny Depp stuff, and, and just like that, <laughs> that's like her to bread and butter. All right, well, let's <laughs> take it away. I'm gonna be the head of my household again. Yeah, I didn't know I'd signed up for patriarchy, that's not what we all agreed on in the very beginning. If you move to Utah, what about Truly? I think Truly's gonna be fine, she's never gonna come back. Well, we'll you can't take her from me. It'll have to be 50-50. She didn't ask me if oh, I was okay so if I didn't stay at her house. She just told me not to. She didn't ask me if it was okay if she moved my stuff out. She just did it. She didn't ask me if it was okay if she moved to Utah and took Truly. She just told me she was going to do it. Now he wants 50-50 time with them? Well, hell, he could have had 50-50 time with us the whole time we lived here. I'm pausing it because I just wanted. Uh, do you remember who it was that left that comment in our group? And she's a lawyer. My mom even mentioned this. My mom's obsessed with our group now. She's like, she never comments on anything, but she's like, always she's just trolling it. in the background. Oh, she's great. Too, yeah, but uh, somebody is a lawyer. God, I won't be able to find it because there were so many. Our whole group got bombarded with Mary's Lizzie's Heritage in thing, but we'll talk about that. Oh, we'll our family that, attorney, but. right. Yes. So what did she do? You, do you remember what she said? Just like, basically, she said, if I was her lawyer, I would tell her, get out of here. Just go. Like, you because you don't need to do anything. Yeah. Especially if he's on the birth certificate, like there's nothing that he can do. So bye bye. Exactly. Yeah. And he would have to prove that he actually was sharing, like seeing her 50% of the time, which mm -hmm. we have 17 seasons of a show proving that he almost killed her for one. Yeah. <laughs> that he's not, yeah. She's not safe alone with him. Exactly. So, I just wanted to, uh, I don't know, put a microphone to this one at PD Cinderson. I love how you switch that around. Uh, she doesn't have to get permission from some of divorcing. Yeah. Like it's that you so were never married to. that Cody thinks like, yeah, well, you're divorcing someone. You still have to ask yeah. the man, the patriarchy, let them know what you're doing ahead of time. You don't know how any of this works. 
Right. So insane. And Renee oh, Smith yes. says, did you guys see how expensive it is to stay at Lizzie's? I promise we're going to break that down when we get to Mary's little section here. Wild. Right. Yes. We saw that whole thing with her retreat. Oof. Yeah. So here we are at the intro. And I'm always interested here on the fact that, you know, like, now it has like the wife in the foreground and then a picture of the wife and Cody in the background. Yeah. And they had to pose for this picture where she's like looking, like she's like touching, like you know that he was crawling out of his skin during right Oof. Now. They're like, okay, Cody, smile. Now Mary, come up behind him ever so gently and just Breathe sniff right his hair. His <laughs> and he ate, he has, Robin was, uh, Robin was definitely in the room for this. Oh, for like, sure. Cody. <laughs> mm -hmm. acting like she's totally cool with it yeah for janelle's picture oh wait no they did it, they show her the picture of her cutting that cake at the we table. all know yeah the we one picture from their wedding the <sighs> that, they, that they have of her Christine and I have been on the fast track from separation to divorce now for a few months, I guess. It's not a divorce. Like, you're done. Yeah, she's leaving. You don't have to do anything anymore, I don't think, do you? Other than, like, I guess the house that they share. Yeah, I mean. The financials. It's not a legal marriage. I'm sure, yeah, yeah I think it's probably just more assets they have to figure out. But oh. like our resident family attorney said, she does. She could just freaking leave, especially if she doesn't need anything from him. She doesn't want Coyote Pass. She can't stand it. Oof. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just, he doesn't have any assets. Also. Yeah, exactly. And fast track, like, uh, she's been fast saying she's wanted to leave your ass for years. And season like two, even season yeah. one, I think she says me and Cody have been having a lot of problems because of Robin. Yeah, we're so, re-watching them all on Patreon. We're now in season four. And she's yeah. been saying it since the first season. I am not happy. I, I We need to work on If it's going to be like this forever. And what happened to Cody being like, no one's forcing you to stay here. They're, they're welcome to leave anytime they want. Okay, but now you yeah. want 50-50? The tr the the truly thing the fifty fifty custody thing had nothing to do with him actually wanting to be around. Truly, it was just a way to hurt to just dig the knife in and worry and make her scared. Yeah, just because of he's because he's such a freaking bull bull. Uh huh. She's leaving. I, I feel feel very separated from the family. Even. With me, with my relationship with Janelle and with Robin and the kids, I, I've struggled through this process. I'm just trying to deal with it, but I've got other problems coming up. You know, Janelle's got to move. She bought, she buying an RV. I've got to figure out a way to get that onto the property, and so I've got to hurry up and get over to Janelle's house. So we can figure this out. I went with Remember, okay, he just said I have so much other stuff to do, Janelle bought an rv and i need to get her on the property end of list yeah exactly she's <laughs> buying the truck that's gonna haul else. it yeah she made the decision she and, and you know there was a conversation that she had with probably uh gabe and gary that they were like you know what if you're gonna do it just do it and you'll call him on his bluff 100%. if it's about the house and us not being in it then get the rv and then he's gonna have no excuse and then she was like you know what freaking i'm doing it i'm doing it yeah. Yeah, Done. He's making it seem like he has all this. It's like Leah on Teen Mom, where she's like, I just got so much to do, y'all. My kids are in school. And Jalen, I got yeah, Jalen. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, there's all that. Jalen's moving closer. And the girls' first day of school, and crickets. I need what to get else, Leah? a tour what else of you got? the house he already lives in. There's yep. this, this, what is it? The mini bathroom and upstairs is the girls. Room. Oh yeah. Let me give you a grand tour. Bath. Here's the half bath and upstairs is the girls' room. And the dog that he was meeting for the first time was like, like carrying hi. him slippers and his newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Jalen, we were just cuddling 10 minutes ago. Right. <laughs> just up about a week ago. How's it going? Hi, Amy. 
it can pull a lot and it will be big enough to pull the trailer i bought nice to see you whoa okay that's shocking because they just kissed on the lips. <sighs> Get out of here, guys. That was, i haven't seen that in a while but later on michael oh no michael what what in the talking heads janelle's got full herbs just all over the top <gasps> of her mouth it's from robin it's the one time they kiss, she gets a full herb yeah full herb out outbreak you know what hold on a second i think i think we're on to something you know how i carry the gift we all know that I carry the gift of being able to identify genetic disorders, yeah. specifically the little the person gene yeah. carriers. I think, and this might be more common for the general public. So if you think that you have this, uh, write herp in the comments. I think there's certain people that you can look at them and you're like, oh yeah, like they're a frequent cold sore herpy carrier. They got to make it just have the look and Robin definitely has a look. Yeah, and all the kids just are seem unfortunately. I think Logan, Lo yeah, Logan, Logan's a carrier. Gabe, for sure. Gabe later on has a full outbreak too, which no judgment. Do you know how stressed out these kids must be? I think Gary Garrison. I'm just calling him Gary because it's no, he's pretty funny in this episode. Uh, <laughs> Dateline is here. Hello, date with Dateline. I don't date know you Dateline. personally, but I feel like I know you. So I. Uh, by the way. I'm like date with Dateline. Now I'm just referring to you as a Kimberly and Kim from People Are Wild. We're doing a uh, an amazing race recap over on a date with Dateline's Patreon. And it's so much fun. Go and check that out. That's another show that just has a, a menagerie of genetic carriers of various, oh, sure, mm -hmm, sure. various degrees. Also, Kimberly right. was on um, an episode recently with Cara Berry. They were, I think they were recapping Sister Wives, or it was a Beverly Hill. Either way, I loved it. So great, yeah. So I think Sister Wives. Maybe she's been on both. I don't know. We all we all mesh into the same like, <laughs> yeah. family yeah. now. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're. I guess. He Beaker. Oh, we have oh my God. The trailer. I'm like, it's aggressive. No, you know. I saw. What do you guys want from her? Because Janelle has downgraded her house every single move. In fact, even when they move into the mansions in the cul-de-sac, Janelle picks the, she's like, well, I don't really, I only need three bedrooms. Everyone, all the kids can live together. So Janelle has been constantly downgrading. And now Robin's like, hmm, beaker face. No, you don't need to move into an RV. What, what, would you like her to spend $900,000 on a mansion like you did and waste the family's money like you did? Well, because then it's kind of calling Robin on her crap. Uh-oh. You know what I mean? Like, then she can't be like, oh, I didn't really want this mansion, Cody. I wanted to rent, mm, but Cody made me get it. Mm. Yeah, no, this is BS. God, Cody looks terrible. Yeah. Back in the hall and I was like, if you're ever going to sell that truck, then I'd like to buy it. That'd be just fun as can be to keep that truck in the family. So fun. I bought my brother's truck from his widow. And uh, it gives me a bit of joy. Okay, pause, pause. Can you not, okay, Scout, you're going to have to bring it down a notch. Sorry, guys. Um, no one else lives in your house, not... though, right? I can handle that for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's that three living humans that could that can clearly hear Scout barking. Right now, that right? could handle it. Yeah. Um, so I don't like the fact that he's using my brother's widow and fun all in the same conversation, and he's like giddy. Also, is it brother's widow, mom yeah. of Mitch, or brother's widow is sister? No, his. Mitch. Um. And then also the sister, or they're related to the that family from surviving sister. Wife, okay, no, no, no. So you're mixing up. So Cody's brother. The one oh, passed, guys, right? what the heck was his name? Write his name. I'm totally forgetting it. But he was like good looking. Yeah. He died, and then separate from that, Aspen is married to Mitch, and Mitch's sister was right. on surviving sister wives. But I do think that. There's somewhere in there. Some oh, sort of like no. Blood Caleb. Blood. Caleb, his brother, is with the widow. Oh, oh yes. 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 10 years older yeah. than Maddie Caleb. He's Curtis. Thank you. Like, thank you, brother Curtis. Curtis. Yes. 
Oh, also interesting that he's like that he's like I would love to just keep, it'd be just fun as can be to keep this fun. truck in the family. It's fun. Also, but then when Mary wanted to keep Lizzie's heritage in and her family, oh, the judgment. Family meeting time. That family me- meeting Selfish. is brutal. By the way, I just watched it the other day, and it was and on they- those armless couches. No, 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 no. It's in it's in the library. It's in Christine's library. They have a few conversations about it. And then at the end, Mary just goes, well, you know, I just, I, I can't, I don't feel safe right now. And I have a wall. So I'm just going to get up because I need to figure out how to make more money. I need, to, I need to go sell some clothes, I guess. Well, no, I thought that was the conversation when Christine told Mary that she brings an energy into the room. No, because that happens late. That happens after uh, the birth confronting mary that episode is called this happens a lot right because maddie didn't have her in the room mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. okay let's uh let, let's get to it here god he looks terrible it's a big enough truck it's big it's tough and it will pull the rv there's just a couple things that happened that made me realize i needed a bigger truck but yeah. not all the time and the problem is, is I don't... it's not your truck though it's janelle yeah. bought the truck you yeah you have nothing to do with this Oh, well, it's a family pot. Thing. Like, if the if they have more money, then it's, like, everyone's money. Oh, for sure. Unless because Robin you forgot money. Because, oh, I forgot. Um, Because, remember when the market was up here and you want to sell when it's up here? Not, not, not down here. Not down here. But they thought oh, they were going to sell up here, here but right. then it they sold, like, down here. So and then, then it became they, everyone's And then they pot. made zero zero um, dollars plus benefits he's paid. about to say something so shitty by the way oh no okay well i'll drive this then i love it i don't want to wear out this truck on a, a soccer mom okay the okay well then don't just, complain to me i don't want to have equipment that i don't use i'll use it i re- Did you hear that she yeah. said i'll drive it then because i love this truck and he said i don't want to waste it on a soccer mom First of all, what? she's not a soccer mom. She has three adult kids that live in the house. Savannah's about to leave. She's in no way a soccer mom. He's basically just saying, I don't want to waste it on a woman. That's what he meant by that. So she, okay, I want to make sure that I'm understanding this correctly. And this is good that sure you, you watched this before. Okay. Yeah. Explain See, this, this to me like I'm fine. I should watch it before. <sighs> okay. So she said, I'm buying the truck because his is too wussy to haul her new trailer that she bought her home her home yeah yeah she also bought the truck so they both belong to her she's like so i'm gonna have two trucks you can take this one my current one and i'll have the new one but since it's fun and it was his brother's and it's a cool truck he wants it like she can she use to, like, it but then to blast around coyote paths going like off-roading on it because it's fun because he doesn't have a job oh, so okay do you think the soccer mom thing was also like a Robin dig or was it specifically to her? Oh, I don't think he digs it, Robin. Oh, um, right. Hello, Jennifer Weaver. Hi from Denver. What have I stumbled upon? Loving it. You have stumbled <laughs> upon. We're going to change your damn life. Oh, Jennifer, just wait. <laughs> I mean, on Cody. He's if you like to be ball. snarky, then you're going like, to love us. If you like Robin, you probably won't. Stick <laughs> around and have a drink with bye us. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Well, I love that she's mocked him twice now. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah. I do love it. I would figure out. Like it's as big as Caleb and Maddie's truck, and Maddie drives that thing like a boss. So I know I can figure out how to drive this thing. It's kind of a funny thought of like seeing Janelle driving all over Flagstaff in this big, huge truck. Why? Pause. What? Why is that funny? Because she's a woman. Why is that funny. She's okay, like now you've a seen woman in a truck. Wait, have do you I get to, to see the truck? Will I get to see the truck here? Oh yeah, you're gonna see you're gonna see the truck and the trailer. Okay, so the RV, I mean. tell me what kind of truck this is. Is it like a like a semi like, truck or something? No, it's like a what's it like with the hatchback, but it's like a big one hatchback is it like his like not a hatchback like what, what is that? What is... or something? yeah it looks like an f-150 but it's huge does anyone know in the comments are there any people that know cars here so it's a truck Somebody let us know. like a truck it's a truck yeah but it's not it's like it, it's pretty big it's like four like it's got big tires or something yeah it looks strong i can't get this fucking so why weird. would that be weird oh i get because it she's a I woman like women should just be driving minivans 
Right. Like if your oh, uterus yeah. has Maybe ever been occupied, mom. you yeah. have to drive a mi- okay or like a station wagon. Okay. Or F four three fifty. As Ace okay, and so Caitlin what's... on Sister Wives, the other Sister Wives podcast, have noted that that uh, they've called it uh, Janelle's jalopy from seasons one to three. Oh, that like little blue right. car that only had like one hubcap on it. Why is that's it so what women funny that she drive. driving a truck? I don't get it. King Cab, I... Michelle Martinez. Oh, says. okay, but like, I mean, she's talking like it's a a semi truck without the fifth wheel. If you will, uh, yeah. I mean, it says maybe it has the extra wheels on the back. I mean, they should just invest oh, in gotcha. twenty wheels a year. Wheels. Oh, I mean, someone's going to be driving it. She's probably going to be emptying her own shitter, and then, uh, God, how great would it be if she emptied the shitter on Cody and Robin's property where they currently <laughs> live? That'd be amazing. Or she accidentally uh, unloads it there, like Dave Matthews. Oopsie. On that boat. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Oh, are you just trying to remind me that I met Dave Matthews and he and gripped he my arm clothes. very tight? Do you want yeah. me to show it again? Do you want me to show it again? Yeah, sure. Michael. You can show us again. Okay, you could totally see my wonky eye in this picture again. So I'm just warning you guys. Okay. Oh, where, you look gorgeous. That? Look at the grip. I just want to look at the grip. Yeah, wonky awesome. eye there he akimbo. Is. He's kind of got a little oh, dumber face there. <gasps> it's called love, but sure. Okay. All right. He's like, let's so proceed. Oh, how dare you? You can figure out anything, right? It just takes a little bit of time and some practice. I've also heard funny stories about Janelle struggling to drive big vehicles and to do things and stuff like that. So. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? I've also heard funny stories about Janelle struggling to drive big vehicles and other things. And doing other things. Talk to you, Robin. Look, look, look at where I pause on this freaking. Yeah, that's what, my, that's what have you ever I done? Actually. We would be making fun of you too if we saw you do she anything. Designs jewelry. <sighs> what a really bitch. good looking jewelry. What a bitch. And she said, I, I've heard stories, meaning Cody's talking shit about Janelle, but she can't drive. She can't drive. She can't do anything. It. If you know you're on the outs with your sister wives at this point, why don't you just zippy lippy and yep. keep your lips sealed? Do not say a word. I mean, we all know Janelle. Like, you don't want to be on Janelle's bad side. She is the one that you do not want to be on. Laura asks, does anybody know the list price of the RV she bought? And oh, you know what? I think I, think I did 70? look it up. I think it was. Wasn't it 70? Something like that. I don't know why 80 or 118 is sticking in my head. I don't think it was over 100, babe. But it was quite, I mean, that's it's less than Robin's house. Cool. Yeah, that's for sure. And now Cody 10% has 10% of Robin and that. Cody's. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Wow. God, her goiter is flaring. Why? He's wearing his work gloves, by the way, here for no reason. So there is no. Re That's what my mom said. She goes, "Oh, he just wants to look like he's doing something all the time." Because mm, he doesn't want us to see buttery soft hands <laughs> that have not done any actual manual labor. Freshly ever. manicured nails. <laughs> oh, okay, eighty-two thousand, eighty thousand. Okay, for the RV. I have to be out of here in six weeks. My vision for the property is that we'll start with. A, well, Why is he looking around like that? Very popular thing here. Basically, first it'll be a detached garage with a living space above it. In a few years or whatever, we'll build the bigger house. It's May already, and uh, I'm moving on to the property at the end of June. I really am hoping to be able to break ground by the winter time. Oh, that's sad. Um, <laughs> that's funny. No okay. care. Are, are you starting to sort out what you're keeping, what you're dumping? Yeah. This is the truck that he's standing in front of. Oh, that's it? I think that's it, yeah. Or that was his truck. Oh, well, either way, I mean, there it's a truck. Like three suitcases worth of stuff to, this, the, to the trailer because it's small. She's moving into a house the size of, like, my kitchen and living room. This is funny. Right? I don't see Cody doing well in this fifth well. There's nothing out there. It's just bare land but it's okay this is where i was like what it's coyote it's the land that you guys heard angels singing on and yep. robin's saying 
Yeah, I don't think you should even go out there. There's nothing out there. Mm, There's the mountain see him out there. I just can't see him out there. It's hilarious. So you're not planning to move then, ever. You've also installed a huge cistern that contains whatever two million gallons of water. Yeah, that's that's and good this is for now like far fetched. <laughs> me for six months that sister would last yeah also really funny if you have the captions it says fifth will w-i-l-l -L. Oh, even the captions are picking up on it they're trolling yeah, why is this so crazy i don't think he's gonna do well out there because mm, he won't sleep on the couch it's the husband's wife or is the husband's wife it's the husband's room too yeah oh, he's all offended have, he would have to like sleep in the like he'd have to sleep with Janelle because otherwise he'd have to sleep in kind of like the living room area with uh, Savannah. Yeah, there's like a bunk that comes down. I did look at the floor plan, oh, and it's, it's a king size bed. It's a it's a great RV. I could mm -hmm. live in this easily. Yeah, you'd have to have Cody coming up to the shitter, but sure. <laughs> stuff in storage it's not going to have a place cool. with janelle so now i've got to move all of my stuff from janelle's house to robin's house huh. oh always you always don't say stuff he's always had a lot of stuff and in vegas like he had four houses that he would put his stuff in so he had four of everything right or more and now I know he doesn't have his stuff as Mary's. Of course, he doesn't have his stuff at my house. He can't put his stuff at Janelle's because she has a little tiny trailer. So it's either in storage somewhere or at Robin's. No idea where he has his stuff. Christine was relishing in saying that. Yeah. Like that now. And I think it was, it was pointed out on one of the other podcasts that ha they do like this kind of, not aerial, but a, a big view of Robin's house at night. And since she leaves all her goddamn windows open all the time, you can see like a thousand boxes in her basement. Yep. So Janelle's stuff is just like ruining her. her and you said something really interesting room. there. She has all her lights on at night. Am I the only one that tries to conserve electricity because it's expensive? I like, don't. Turn the you lights you off. know that I get off on leaving my uh, fridge open all the time. Oh, my. You, As I'm cooking you, a whole a meal. I, I know. And I leave, I leave my fan on all day while I'm gone. Like my oscillating fan. It the, never turns mm, off. Hmm. Ceiling fans I can see leaving on, but lights you leave the fridge open while you cook an entire mill. Yeah, I like get off on it because I know it's bad. I mean, no wonder you're sick all the time. You have food poisoning because you're letting your, yeah, your bougie sour cream that you always seem to have, just your 16 ounces of sour cream tubs that you keep on. Yeah. <laughs> it goes lukewarm. Oh, okay. We're kind of under the gun. I think we need to go look at the property and figure out. Um, well, the biggest thing is where are we going to put the trailer? And I did see one space that I think works really well. Robin, Robin. We might need more than one space, though. I agree, because they have to move it every four months. The county has a rule that you can only keep an RV or a trailer or something on your property for 120 consecutive days. My plan is that I should hopefully be done building in a year. So in that year, I need to move my trailer every 120 days to somebody else's parcel so that we stay within county code. You and I need to really go out in the property and look. Yeah, because we're bringing the trailer home. I think we're going to take it right out there. Which means that I've got to have a back uh, somebody come in and pour some gravel or something out. We should have never bought the RV because we, we're going to be moving it all the time. Just do me a huge favor and everybody else a huge favor. Just well, let's talk to each one of your sister wives and get the permission for every little aspect <gasps> that we're doing when it comes to the problem. What? I'm struggling because I'm not optimistic about how this is going to come together. She's got to ask permission to be on somebody else's property. Oh, my God. I thought we were okay. fine. Why? They're not out there. No one is doing anything. I'd be well, like, Cody, fine. Cody, to be fair, does like to go and run around and stand on gravel, dirt. Right, right. Speaking of uh, Coyote Pass, it's not a pond. It's not, a, not pond. a pond. So why doesn't she just go sit on Cody's property? If he's fine with it, then yeah, go true. park it there. And, and just, like, move it around not going to use it? Could yeah. she not go back and forth just between two plots? hers and Cody's? Could she not just do that? 
I don't see well, why you could Hers is pretty big. Like, couldn't you move it towards the front and then back where the greenhouses are going to be? Oh, well, I mean, it can't go on Robin's because, again, she's going to have to empty the shitter and her shit's going to be covering Robin's land. That would be so hot lucky. day in Arizona. Oh, Especially yeah. Especially all that farm to table food she's planning on growing. Oof. Yeah, a lot of fiber going through her body. Mm -hmm. This is typical Cody. Like, he's all on board for something, and then he goes away for a couple of days, and he comes back, and he's like, Talks oh to God, Robin. Gotta, Talks to Robin. You gotta yeah. Ask your sister wife. You gotta blah, blah, blah. Why? Like, why? I don't need their permission. We've already agreed. I yep. do not have time for this. What if I don't want an RV pad in that spot that she just decides <sighs> to put her trailer temporarily? So there's a part of me that's like, well, Cody and Janelle are... Mary, you own two houses and Janelle is living in an RV park. You want to pay it forward a bit here? It's four months. She even said temporarily. Yeah. What are you going to be doing out there? It'll just be like this little pad of gravel or uh, cement or whatever the hell. And if you're going to end up building on it anyway, it's all going to have to be re-leveled. Remember, they have to excavate all the rock from the mountain and all that kind of stuff. Well, also What's the other the problem? fun part here is that we found out... I think it was kind of just said in passing, but a couple episodes ago, hi, La Latrice is here now. Producer. Latrice. Yep. <laughs> Don't touch the fucking mic. Because um, <laughs> everything will turn off. That you, they cannot start even like breaking ground until the whole thing is paid off. Did you know that? Well, I mean, that like, would make, it would make sense. You know why it makes sense? Because I'm sure that the builders have seen their history of mortgages and stuff and they're like yeah we're not even like touch it. we're not putting a shovel in the ground until this thing is paid off because we know that you're just going to get another balloon payment well or it would just be and i'm sure those of you are, are way more nuanced in this sort of thing but if the land is mortgaged and then they're going to be taking out like a loan obviously to build the house if something were to happen then you have like two people who have claimed to right. that then. So yeah. it just wouldn't make sense. So at what point did they think they were going to be able to pay off this land? Because now they've had it for a couple of years and we can't even build like a tiny house on it. Oh yeah. Uh, Princess oh, 101 God. says, why, uh, why doesn't Janelle live with Mary? Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you watch the I mean, show? Is Jane the date line here? Not, it <laughs> ain't your episode for you. Yeah. No, Jesus. no, <laughs> I mean, like, it's not. They fucking cannot stand each other. I don't even know who would hate it more. Probably Janelle. Well, also, the question why doesn't Janelle and Savannah move in with Robin? Because Robin. they have three floors of living, right? Hmm. Oh, yeah. The whole basement that Janelle's shit is in, couldn't they just like, move in there? No, I mean, because that's oh. what Robin has always wanted sister wives. A he family. wants to live with the sister wives. What's the problem? They help each other out. Help raise oh each other's children. God. Wow, we have 230 people in this chat right now. <laughs> they bought this mansion to fill with children. Well, they did. Yeah, Good exactly. Lord. Spirit babies, too. Kind of formulating ways to get this, this, these pieces paid off so that we can get started. Maybe. They are going to... They are going to figure out a way to get these pieces paid off. They. Well, Robin, too, right? Because Robin contributes. Oh, because she has a job sleep no. slate um, she's taking care of the kid little tender age kid. no wait she's not because they have a full-time she's nanny. an artist she's a creator she's a content creator she designs jewelry i don't know if you've ever seen her jewelry before oh i've seen it <laughs> those, <laughs> those hands that are like clasping the, the heart like this horrifying chilling actually <laughs> if they were good at marketing they would they put that stuff out jewelry. at yeah, at Halloween, yeah, Halloween time. Those fingers yeah. on the colada rings. Oof. The colada rings. God. Or that phoenix that's up in flames. In Ooh, the just, do you think that Robin does okay? Okay, just let's let's just think crazy here. Okay, let's Robin just like, does have a job and TLC okay. is just editing it out to be funny. Mm, okay. Because Cody yeah. does technically have a job selling guns and cameo. Yeah. 
like those couple weekends where he makes two hundred dollars an hour. Right. Mm, what would her job be? I mean, she does. Let's be. And she doesn't even have an MLM though. No. I don't think she'd be very good at an MLM because not that many people like her. I don't think she'd be very good at a job. Yeah, well, I don't think she's ever actually had a job. She said she did oh, when she was three she jobs. when she was a single. But she wasn't. She was, yeah, single. Shira. When she was living in her stepdad's townhouse, while her mom took care of the kids. Well, she needed help, and McKelty was also living there too. Oh my God. I forgot to get that help. that was announced that McKelty moved in with her. Christine's mm -hmm. kid. But Christine never tried. She never wanted the kids to get along and be part of the family. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So I'm just trying, I'm trying to keep an eye on the comments here. Right. Yeah. This will be good. There's things that Janelle does frequently that aren't like a married husband and wife. As we do things separately. Huh. Aaron. He's no longer advocating. He's never. He's no longer acting as my husband here. Hmm. All right, honey. I'm gonna. I gotta run and do some errands. <laughs> oh God, she just went. Oh, I gotta run and do some errands. Oh, her finger. I have to uh, 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 go uh, to there. Do that. All of the life just drained <laughs> out of her. All right, honey. Well, I have to. Going That's the same as when Robin was talking to her and she's like, oh, it's cold out here. I think I'm going to go in. <laughs> Time to wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> and then remember, it was like a gorgeous, sunny, cloud-free day. And she had her a huge umbrella. She's like, ooh, looks like a storm's rolling in. Better all get getting, a move on. <laughs> I'm feeling that migraine coming, Robin. Gotta go. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh, <God. laughs> oh, Janelle does things. That it's almost like she doesn't have a husband. Well, she doesn't have a husband there. Yeah, you're Robin's husband. You've been doubling down for the past three seasons about how you don't go there. So yeah, she's gonna make some decisions reason without Janelle you. Janelle has lasted this long though, is because as we see in this scene, when Cody says that shitty thing about the soccer mom, she kind of laughs it off, and she goes, "Okay, well then, honey, just did then you know, just let me figure it out." Whereas. Christine and Mary probably started to push back on that shitty patriarchal mm -hmm. language. So Janelle and us ought to work in. Yeah. And also she's probably laughing like uh, Gary and Gabe haven't played soccer for the last 12 years. Right. Like in his mind. They've in fact never played soccer. Right. Yes. Right. Soccer. Hilarious. <laughs> like you remember they almost got kicked out of our own house because they were tackling and beating each other up. Now, did you look at the previews for all of these, this episode, this episode, like all the previews that were released on TLC.com, like the preview of I specifically think. Isabel's birthday. Oh, yes. Because he gets a piece of information wrong there that is kind of unforgivable. Huge. Yeah. And huge. also like a, a little triggering for a gal who's dead also <laughs> forgot her birthday a lot. Oh, my dad. I mean, I, I almost birthday. leapt through the screen. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go. Do you want to go get the trailer and then we'll have the boys? Uh, yeah, I'll go grab the trailer and um, I guess maybe the boys will help me load the, the piano. piano time. Okay. The right. piano? Who plays the piano? I don't know. <laughs> Brianna does. She wants to get moving. She oh, wants no. to get something done. Isabel does? Oh. And I'm resistant because there's a lot of things to do in that process. And it starts with asking other people if you can park your RV on their property. Why is that such a hard fucking thing to do? Well, they had a, they were in Janelle's backyard last week talking about how she's getting the RV and she's going on the land. Why is this a big deal? Is it because he's going to run home real quickly, call Robin? And then yep. Robin has to be like, well, I mean, it's fine with me, but Cody is just, I'm just worried because Cody is worried. Mm. I hate my hair right now. And because he's a wimp and he can't stick up for himself in front of Janelle, he's going to push it on Robin now. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're at Coyote Pass, Brown family property. Ooh, listen to this music. I've been on the property three freaking years 
years ago. We should have no. done this already. Well, maybe we should get together and talk about it again. No, you guys figure out what you're going to do with your lots because I need to move forward with mine. Yep. Nice. I don't have a home in six weeks. I could not get a hold of any rentals. I bought a trailer. I'm out there in six weeks. Thanks for coming, gang. We're going to... Who is this? Because is this the sister? Is this his ex-wife and his brother's um, widow? Because this woman is familiar, kind of. But, like, why would they be there? I thought or that was we... Gabe. Uh, no, it's definitely not Gabe. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I had to turn my phone to get a bigger picture. I thought it was Gabe. Are they the surveyors? The guy in the plaid is that probably. guy who... Uh, they have matching they... little symbols on their shirt, so probably. Okay, but the guy in the plaid is the dirt layer friend, I believe, the one that, like, got um, oh. arrested for abusing his wife. Remember that? That's awesome. I mean, That's really Cody awesome. Really keeps himself saying. in good company. Well, it's not one of his best friends. Like Bill like, the trainer. Remember when Bill or was Mona Reiki? Oh, Mona the realtor. Give you guys an idea because I know Carmel. We talked about plans before we start the actual house plans. I kind of want the experts to kind of see and weigh in and talk and see what really experts. needs to be done here. What I like is coming up the hill. We're out of the water a little bit. I mean, exactly, like, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Well, we're still gonna. Right I still want to put the RV there because it's close to yeah. road. That's, that's fine. That'd be a driveway. This is going to be really satisfactory to Janelle because well, she's finally pushed us to the point where we're making a plan for something. There's a method to her madness, but it's very dangerous to try and push around people who are resistant to what you're trying to push. Oh, it is? What? What? You you almost got hypocrite. it there, Cody. You almost had it there. Also, um, let's not say madness and refer to someone else. Mormons always have a piano. Yeah, they got. You know what? My best friends growing up, they were Mormon and they had a piano. They also made these incredible peanut butter balls. You would take like evap, like powdered evaporated milk, peanut butter, and honey, and they always had homemade bread, and it was amazing. Sounds good. Anyway, um, okay, couple things. Notice the life that Cody has when he's out on this property. Oh no, no, it's not Coyote Pass. It's because there's men around, and he yeah. can feel like. Come on, man. We're all best bros. Kick we some grow it out. Around. Yeah. Yeah. You guys interested in uh, looking at some logs up there? Because I've been working on a few for the past several months. Stripping those logs. Got to see those with the logs. logs. Janelle's no. also got her MLM in her hand, by the way. Her little glass she bottle. Does, but like, well, I mean, you're. I mean, you got your pillow right behind you there. It's to well, remind you, gotta, you that's Coyote Pass, Amanda. Red yeah, Bubble Shop, Amanda. You have to promote when you can. Why wouldn't they? I mean, Cody I, and Robin listen, are I appreciate, any income. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I appreciate her hustle. She's got to do what she's got to do. From what I understand, I don't think there's really anything that can be done yet because we've got to pay for the property before we start doing anything. Huh, weird, yeah. So there's a lot of steps still, and I just don't know how fast that's going to happen. I don't want anything to do with coyote pass <laughs> but it's not my land oh, sorry. it's their land they can do whatever they want with it so then right here is a better place for the house I think so. Like, this is the equivalent. Uh, Cody doing this uh, is the equivalent of him doing the presentation about if we sell here and not here because he doesn't know what he's doing he's like so here this looks nice right it's good Oh, nice. It's whatever right bros are out on the property with him. He's a hundred percent with them. Remember oh, when he yeah. had a surveyor and he oh, was I running remember. laps around the place. And then Rob was like, it's just so weird. Every time I go to one of your lots, it's my new favorite lot. Ha, 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 ha. Like, yeah, good one, Robin. You're the one with like 7.8 acres. Yeah, a little exactly. mix of everything. Sure. Yeah. Um, hey, Justine from the Shore Store hey, podcast. Um, yeah, good team? one. <laughs> also i love that christina's like yeah i don't want anything to do with coyote pass yeah. janelle i don't even want you can money go and it. shit all over the place yes yeah. shit in my lot for all i care <laughs> yes. i do not care right. oh robin's about to talk look at it's all about robin i got here yep same 
it's all about Robin not wanting Janelle to put her shitter on her property. That's all it is. This idea of her hopping pieces of property kind of a thing. It's really not being talked about a lot. It's just it's kind of thing. happening. I'm trying to sit here and figure out sit why here. she thinks we're going to be able to do this. For me, Cody, it's really about building fast. I feel like if there's a will, there's a way. Cost of lumber prices, is that really impacting the overall cost now? Do you think that's why he's stripping all the logs? The cost of lumber. Uh, oh my God, what I would give to see Coyote build, Coyote, Cody build a log home. <laughs> what that would end up like, like would be. It'll be the casita. Oh, Maybe those are so for good. her casita. Oh, it'd be so busted. He would just make it into like. It's a log to sit on. Oh, it would mm -hmm. just like he wouldn't put like anything between the logs. He would just like lay them on top of each other. It would like no, leak. no, 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 no. Oh yeah, it's the cost of everything going up right now. But it's too. everything. Yeah. Okay. I've been saving my money. I've been scrimping and saving and sacrificing so I could build. Thanks for coming. I really thank appreciate you. It. I don't have anywhere to live right now, so I'm going to do this trailer. I'm going to try to make it happen. I think it's time that the family prioritizes paying off the property. Okay, we're at a commercial break here. Good point. Put some modular homes out there. The Duggars put theirs together. I mean, uh, shouldn't throw the Duggars into this. It's a different coding. Um, Cody, is a different coding between modular homes and an RV. Like you well, could no, actually it's, it's a mod home. It's cheaper because it's like prefab. Like it comes in pieces. You don't have to worry about. Okay, but you could know, you lay it there for longer than four months? Yeah, it'd be a permanent house, but it's just not like a custom oh, home. Like when Amber was going to live on Gary's property. Oh, God. This is In just insane. And, hey, Janelle is homeless. What are you guys not getting? She's homeless. The the tr The trailer RV has been purchased, and you're giving her a hard time about it sitting on your property. None of you are using it. How often do you think Robin goes out to Coyote Pass, by the way? Oh, never. Because she doesn't like it. It's good. She has her house. So how she does it affect her? God. That was not my intention. I was here at the very beginning. I helped start this family. It was me and him. And we had plans. He loved me. Loved. Mm. That's, like, is, uh, oh. that's like a... That's like Bill Cosby. I brought you into this world. I can take you out. Oof. We see the welcome to Peril on sign. Daphne goes, oh, me and Ron have driven through there a few times, Amanda. Really? I didn't know yeah, that. Oh, that's right, because they drive down from Canada. Yeah, you drive, you drive through it. She's like, there's not a lot there. <laughs> no, there's not a lot there. No, my, yeah. You're, yeah no there's shit. Mary, though. There's yeah, Mary. She wants to pay six grand. I wonder if Merity, Merity, if Mary has caught, uh, brought the cost of living up a little bit, because she is the most famous person in that town for sure. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. I think there's resorts and ski places nearby, I think, from what I read. I mean, I haven't been out there. I would love to. Right. Um, but I don't think there's much there. And I remember seeing a long time ago when I did research, you know, when... Uh, she got that mortgage, not based on a commercial property, but a residential. But oh, I mean, yeah. all that aside, allegedly. Um, if you look at the Google Earth thing and you look around, like it's like it's kind of on a nothing sort of street, too. Can There's you, like a dumpy lot it, across um, the street. And do you have it preloaded? Oh no, I have it here. Um preloaded the Lizzie's Heritage Inn retreats. Like, can we load this onto the stream before we start talking about this? Because this is this is the Mary section right now. So do you want to look at the package? Oh, if we could pull it up and put it on the internet. Um, let's see. Yeah, are we able I to can do try that? to find some photos, Amanda. I mean, we could just read it out. Let's talk about this here. Uh, okay. okay, okay, here we are. We're at Lizzie's Heritage Inn.com. Uh, we, oh, we got a retreat. What? Oh, no, I was just going to say, can we pull this up on here? Yeah, can we just link the whole website in and kind of scroll? What oh, happens? Yeah. Do you have it pulled up? Guys, I, I mean, have it on my computer, yeah. 
we're both near 40, so bear with yeah. us while we finger the And I'm on a three-day. Uh... <laughs> I'll take some screenshots if you want to maybe press that third we one. Must, we must be able to link, link like a link, right? Maybe not. All right, well, we'll figure this out for next time, guys. But uh, at least for now, let me read this. Join Mary's Mary Brown and Lizzie's Heritage Inn for real life retreats coming to you November 2022. We're coming up on a Jody. Are you still there? Hello. Jody. 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 Hello. 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 Am I still going? Because I can keep reading this. Jody, are you there? Why? Oh, oh, my computer just shut down. She said, okay, that's fine. I can do this. Lizzie's Heritage Inn. Guys, Real Life Retreats offers a chance to explore Southern Utah with Mary Brown in her beautiful historic family home. Join us at our inaugural retreat for a weekend filled with adventure, connection, the most delicious food, and so much more. And it talks about how Mary bought the home that had been built by her family in 1820. It has since been her dream to share this beautiful space and its surrounding area with as many people as possible. There's a sweet homey feel of Lizzie's heritage in and the neighborhood of Red Rocks. Mary hopes to share the healing and connective powers of this space through retreats that allows people to feel adventure, self-love, connections, empowerment, and inspiration. Well, I would definitely want to take my self-love in examples from mary brown um now have you guys all looked at this because it's uh it's quite a deal <laughs> okay. oh thank you kevin yeah i'm doing my best here because jody's computer shut down and she needs to figure out how to get back in hang on just let me tell her don't worry i got this oh because i am nailing this right now i'm really good at improv here's what's included Four days, three nights accommodation in beautiful southern Utah. Now, that doesn't, guys, that does not necessarily mean you get to even see Mary, I don't think. Three, the way she wrote this is insane. Three meals for the first two days. For No, three meals for the two full days, dinner on the first night, breakfast on the last morning. Horribly worded. It should just say dinner on the first night, all three meals for the next few days and breakfast on the last morning or something two to five daily activities like okay two okay, so two we're we're doing two uh, morning mindfulness and evening fire pit hangs there's a goodie bag okay I feel like it just has a race Christie treat in it and then like a business card uh one tran oh transportation during retreat photos of the retreat because not everybody owns their own camera phone or anything connection with new and old friends prompts for self-connection time to bond with mary etc like what, what is, is going on i'm back oh you're back great i was i was tap dancing i what got it happened i don't know what but happened? i uh am going to shit my pants right now i might need to leave the show. <laughs> okay i swear to you i went lizzie's I something to read in. Huh. i went lizzie's yeah. heritage in clicked it and the entire thing i got a black screen with a bunch of things that says your computer shut down unexpectedly blah, 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 and, and then i went blah, 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 and then it rebooted so i think the funniest part of that is how how much that makes sense that mary's website would have like would be corrupted. <laughs> there were there was like hieroglyphic lettering and stuff. I just did you re, did you reclick on your garage band or did you lose the whole I track? I restarted a new one, babe. I got it. Okay, babe. Great. We're good. We're okay. good. We got this. Okay, um, you sound I'm, a little I'm, funky I'm, to me, but I don't want to like I'm afraid to press anything. It's fine. If we don't have to put, if we don't put okay. it on the, the actual podcast, it's fine. People can just watch the live stream. I'm still just reading through what's included. We're almost done here. What is not included is transportation to and from Lizzie's Heritage Inn on November 17th and 20th. I don't know what that means. Is it just those two days? Or I don't I don't know. 
Do you guys want to hear the prices? Standard. Yeah. $4,500. And, and that's not that, staying on property. Oh, no, no, no. You you probably get to kind of see Mary, but like, I think, I think you're allowed, there's like a list of questions you're allowed to answer or something. Everything <laughs> included above and a private or shared room in a luxurious home near Lizzie's Heritage Inn. Mm. Whatever the fuck that means. VIP is $6,000 to $6,400. Interesting pricing. Uh, that includes everything included above and a private or shared room at Lizzie's Heritage Inn. Extra uh -oh. time and activities with Mary and surprises. Uh-oh. Am I sounding better, you guys? You sound fine. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. So, uh, people are saying that I sound muffled. I'm sorry. Uh, hello. Hello. You sound, you sound good. It's a good night. Okay. Let me know if I still sound muffled. Um, I, yes, I did you notice an improvement. You don't stay at the okay, house. Great. Thank you, Jessica. No. So what else is in the area, though? You're just like staying at like a neighbor's house? I think it sounds like it. Is it her friend Jen's house? <gasps> no, her friend Jen lives far away. I know that. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Um, here's the thing that everyone was talking about in the chat much earlier. You can apply for this, and then I think you send money, and she can still say no. It's like a cameo, yes. but you don't get the money back on your cameo. No, you have to get your money back. Well, she. What do you think the surprises are? The surprises that you get. Another Rice Krispie treat. She's added sprinkles this time. Some uh, Lularoe. It coaching perhaps <gasps> do you think that this is all just a lularoe thing i think yeah. the i think she knows if we are not getting uh you know sister wives washers we're gonna get people in lularoe who think that they're gonna get personal coaching from mary yeah oh, this is this is awful yeah but do you think it's just fire pit hangs there are five that hangs guaranteed two to five activities per day. So again, okay. Two. So one of the activities is their meditation thing they talked about, which is probably like a journaling mixed with some yoga. And that's going to count as two activities, even though it's one, it's going to count as two. Then a mm, story time with Mary. Yeah, but I don't she's think she's going to so reveal anything. Funny. She is really funny. But I don't think they're, she's anyone's going to be able to ask her about uh, Cody or anything. Because I've looked no, at the questions. I've applied. You actually applied. I didn't actually apply. Oh, okay. But it, it asks, like, um, what piqued your interest? Why do you hope to gain? What are some of your favorite hobbies and interests? What are your favorite ways to practice self-care? Please indicate new food restrictions, allergies. How would you describe yourself? Oh, COVID test. This is exhausting. Like, this is work now. And we and have, to, by the way, have to guarantee by a doctor, it looks like that you're able to walk moderate distances and have decent hip knee mobility. <laughs> well, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> they have, have you, gone. like, helping to rehab the property. <laughs> like, we have a gazebo that we need uh, taken down before winter are you good for they make it? us paint her house like they made her paint uh coats cody's handsome mother's house oh she was a very handsome woman r.i.p what about um mary her sleeping accommodations is she sleeping at lizzie's i think she Victorian might sleep Highlight? in that like that house in the backyard that's not registered as an actual residence oh yeah so if this fire pit hang, what's the, the, what do you call it? Your, uh, your curfew. What time are you being driven back to your luxury accommodations? If you are not nearby. Yeah. It, like, how about show people if I'm going to be shilling out $4,500 for three nights, I'm, I'm going to want to see what this nearby property looks like. Right. I mean, you, is it a hotel? Yeah, I'd want to see where I'm staying. And also, I don't want to share. It says, do you want to share a room with a partner or close friend? I'm like, look, Jody's my best friend in the world. I don't want to share a bed with you. No. I sweat and I fart. No, I don't and like I need that. Much than you. Well, I guess we could both have the same fan blasting on us. 
We'd probably be okay probably, with the same temperature. I feel like you'd get up at night and you would aim the fan more towards you. <laughs> probably. And it would be this like aggressive thing like throughout the night, like one of us moving it. Um, well, so on days when person... I have a migraine, I'll sleep with a soaking wet towel. So it would like, it would start like bleeding into your side of the bed. Oh, it would just be dank. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, per person, didn't it say if you're willing to share some accommodation it's still same room same bed yeah but the four thousand doesn't it go down to like 3200 or something oh god i don't even want to this look is at a it again. scam i pulled up that luxury property that was voted like last year one of the most luxurious getaways remember i sent that to you no you were in the midst of like i don't know passing on yesterday yeah, and yeah, sure. and that was six thousand dollars and it was like a beautiful italian villa oh, with right, right. full yeah. service and every meal this one you're getting what audrey and leon scrambling up some eggs for you yeah Ugh. this is you'll i don't know with, this is just selfish leon. Right. this is their problem this is why Kyo or uh my sister wife's closet never took off because we're being greedy <sighs> They don't know how We're to work at, it. Uh, only 12 minutes. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not saying. Four weeks yesterday. Since my mom passed away. My mom passed away. She was living in my bed and breakfast and she was running that. Her death was very sudden and unexpected. Her clothes were just still sitting there on her bed. I just didn't even move them, you know. Yeah, it was it was unexpected. Mm. It's been really hard, like trying to just like figure out life without her and what to do and how to do it. And <sighs> Bonnie's passing was a huge shock. huge i didn't know she was sick i had no idea bonnie was vibrant and running the bnb and then she just kind of got sick one day almost like she kind of had the flu and then within like within a week she was gone like her heart <sighs> it was shocking you know i love bonnie she was just the dear part of the family i thought it was just sudden Obviously, I have my ups and downs, and this week has been a down. <laughs> so I basically, at this point, I've shut the bed and breakfast down. I just need the time to grieve myself, and then I need time to figure out what to do. Cody actually said to me the other day, he's like, why don't you just move up there? <laughs> so I'm like... <laughs> Uh, that was not my intention. <sighs> Ugh, pause on Robin and her goiter. What a nice, sensitive thing to say to your wife who just lost her mom a month ago. Why don't you just move away from all of us and live alone? I mean, it just makes sense. It's support system. It does make sense. Because I don't love you or anything, so why don't you just... I mean, technically it does make sense because she has, like, two mortgages, right? Or she, oh, she's paying $4,500 a month for the house she lives in in Flagstaff. And then there's the bed and breakfast. And they've lost Christine's income. I think that's a lot of Cody and Robin's stress right now. Is that they've lost Christine's income. I would really love to know. I can't see her putting money towards the family pot at this point. Mary's? Yeah. Or any of them. Janelle I think. Does. I don't think so. I think... Cody supports he and Robin and Robin's kids. And it's just kind of like a known thing. Janelle takes care of hers. Christine take care, takes care of hers and Mary. Well, still a great thing to say to your wife. Yeah. Like, it's you? not your wife. I know it's not her, your wife. And yes, I agree. Like Mary is pathetic. Justine. Yes, of course. She's like, none of us understand why she's doing this. But it's out of stubbornness at this point, I think. Because she's yeah. about to say, like, I started this family. Like, yep. Cody used to love me. What is she going to do? But he's also, I mean, oh, God. I, I'm not trying to, like, take up for Cody. But he has told her 
it's not going to change. Remember? And I'm not coming. Oh, and I know you're not. Does yeah. it gross you out when I try to flirt with you? And he's like, no, no, I'm, yeah, I'm fine. So, uh, oh, okay. Here's Robin. Well, Cody probably didn't mean this in a bad way. At the same time, it can Cody be never understood to a point where it's, you know, insensitive. And Cody does think out loud. He has a tendency to process and be creative out loud, and it's frightening sometimes. And not even, and maybe not even sensitive, you know? It was, yeah, maybe. It didn't need to be said. I never thought Mary bought this place so she would move there. She bought this so her family would have it back in her family. She's made that so abundantly clear that she's not going to live there. I can't tell you how many times she's made that abundantly clear. From the very beginning, she's not been interested in living there permanently. You know, I told him I didn't want to. I told him I had no intention of doing that, and he was kind of surprised you know he's like oh really i was here at the very beginning i helped start this family it was me and him and we had plans he loved me for him to just be like mm, you know just go up there now <laughs> it, it didn't make sense I guess I'm still just in this place with him or he's still in this place where he thinks that like the point of me buying this was to get away. And that really saddens me a lot. The reason I'm suggesting this to Mary is, is honestly as a family anymore, it doesn't feel like we actually interact that much. I'm not even trying to push her away. I'm just, She's, she's laying this burden that she has at my feet about the struggle she has about what to do with Lizzie's Heritage Inn now that her mom's passed. And, and I'm like, well, here's a solution for you. Sorry to let Cody or anybody else in my family who thinks that I just want to move up here. You know, it's like, I just, I feel bad that after so long, we're still having this conversation. I think that one. Okay, Cody can you pause for a sec? Great. Like, yeah. Wow. Okay, this is a lot here. Um, okay, first of all, don't like that Robin is trying to be like, he's a man. You know how men, they just don't realize how they're being oh, insensitive or on cruel his side. sometimes. He doesn't yeah. mean it, though. No, he means exactly what he's saying. Yep. He, he knows exactly what he's doing. I will say... I think it's possible that Cody has forgotten or didn't listen when Mary said, yeah, I'm not going to live up there. I'm getting it for my family. She said that. I think he's just forgotten it in the grand, I don't know, scheme of things of him never listening to Mary. He lost it. But I also think Mary is being a, a little manipulative here. I think she did get it as a possibility of, if she wanted to get away, yes, it's there. She'll oh, yeah. never yeah. admit that. I can see She'll that. She'll never admit it. And maybe she no. realizes like, oh, I really wouldn't want to live there. But come on. I think anyone would think that. Even if you were in a great place in your marriage, you're like, okay, God forbid anything happen. I have this yeah. as a safety net or whatever. That's why Janelle bought the RV. That. Right. So exactly. They've shown the same stock footage picture like twice in the past minute this is this it's such a depressing i think that we had this ideal that we would be able to get through everything and i really want do you love how in this pic in every picture cody's always make sure that areola and saul are right next to him. That's mm -hmm. it. His Those sweetie, are the two most important. And he does yeah. that 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 thing that he's always done. <laughs> the smile where he shakes his head. And goes, yeah. <sighs> and truly standing there, but he's not even touching her. She's like, <sighs> he's like, I guess put truly in the front row with us. To have those conversations, I really want to have those relationships, and I think that. 
things can be healed where people want to heal them. And if we don't, I don't know what our family is going to look like. I just feel like I'm like doing all I can to um, reassure people that I'm not going anywhere. Christine having had the discussion with us that she did about, you know, leaving and wanting to move to Utah really affects me. Dealing with all this, plus the BNB, plus losing mom, plus my conflict with Cody. I need to just figure out what it is that I can control that I can get through. At this point, I just, I don't know what to do. I am lost. I feel empty. I feel like I have to figure out a lot of stuff and I don't know how to figure it out. And, um, and the house just feels really empty without mom here. So my mom, I, I need, yeah, Jody hates that. I'll just keep working on it, I guess. No one's working on it. I can feel better and I can go out and see people and I can put on more of a brave face. But there's days that I just, I don't want to and I, I don't feel capable. And so I just stay in my house. All right, we're back in Flagstaff. That Janelle is renting is selling. She she's not buying it, so we're moving out. She looks in the marketplace for a day, half hour. Immediately went, well, I can't find a place, so I'm going to buy an RV. <laughs> Fuck you. What? Sorry. Okay, look at this shot. So Robin bought Cody this. What are those? Like a mounter for a camera during COVID because he talks about it. A selfie stick. It's not a selfie stick, though. It's a tripod. You can see that it's not a selfie stick. It has three poles. And for some reason, they're in the car. This is the view we have. And he's just holding. What's happening here? And why can't... I think it's because Cody doesn't know how to mount a, a phone to his actual car. So he's like, well, I'll just hold out the, uh, the tripod. Oh, God, he's, he's so useless. He does not know how to do anything. No. And he's pretending to be all happy right now. It's Ugh, annoying. I hate seeing him happy. Yeah. Also, that slam on Janelle. She looks for a half hour. Is like, oh, I can't find anything. Fuck you, dude. Yeah. Screw she, you. She's the one who has money of her own, so you don't really get a say in it. We actually purchased, but we won't take it home now for about a month. So we're going to go see the trailer so I can get an idea what it looks like and how much stuff to bring when I move in, and then we'll come back and get it in a few weeks. We're here at the RV place. It's Janelle's birthday, and we we're looking at her birthday present. Oh, cool! He's so being she bought so her own. Sweet to her. Yeah. He's acting like he bought it. Wow! Oh, he's gonna roll in there like he's dubbed Bell, like Daddy oh, yeah. Warbucks. Look what I got this woman of mine. Oh, Cody did not buy this for me. I don't know what he's talking about. This is me <laughs> buying this. I guess it's my birthday present to myself. I never told, I joked about Janelle having the RV for her birthday. It was more like her birthday present to herself. Oh, I never okay. made any innuendo. None that I had bought the RV. Uh, we can't pick it up for like another week and a half or so, but we're going to go see Janelle, really take a sip of water. Uh, Cough drop, please. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go. Hey, I don't want to be a negative Nelly. But I, oh. like one day it's like, oh, okay, this will be cool. And the next day I'm like, oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. I have not seen a, a picture of the actual trailer I bought. This is everything you should not do in a transaction. What? Okay, stop. In my pocket. Boy, is that not just parallel to real life there? I don't yeah. know what I'm getting into. It's just blind trust. Yeah, Cody's a really taught her well. Looks good on the outside. 
haven't really gotten to the meat of things, but I'm just going to take a risk. Getting out oh. of the truck, and I'm like, well, let's film the big reveal. And she's like, no, 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 I don't want, uh, let's go look at it first. I don't want to, no, don't film it. Why is Cody finding this story so funny? Yeah, I don't know. He, cause, he's cause like he's laughing his ass off. Yeah, he's not. He and Robin thought it was hilarious. Oh, I'm just following you a little ways. We, we didn't shoot us at the trailer because Janelle was too vulnerable. All right, let's go. No, I'm not going to. I was just going to film you walking over a little bit. I think I saw it online. And I'm like, oh, that's big. No, no, it's it's big. Like, it's big. You step up, like, three steps to get into it, and it's massive. It's, it's nice. Small. It just seems yeah, it is nice. we're not in it. I really like it. I'm glad it's so big. That's beautiful. Because, honestly... It's well, it's not big enough for Cody. This. I'm still moving forward in my life, and I'm trying to, to move myself forward and improve my situation and get a house built. But all around me, it feels like there's all this chaos and uncertainty because mm. Christine is leaving. What does it mean? Where the kids are going to come home all together for the holidays? Like, there's all these huge, like, I feel like I'm on this little path. And there's all these big question marks all around me. And all I can do is just keep moving forward and try to be open and flexible to whatever the future looks like. We're throwing Isabella a graduation party. <laughs> Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Yeah. It's still kind of happening. So I'm a little bit nervous because I'm like, okay, are we right, going to be able to What are we doing with these hair, babes? It's going to be tense. Wait till you see the big reveal in this. You're going to love it. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh shit. It? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's okay. 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 All right, now we're back at Janelle's house now. And her and Gary, and I think Gabe are uh -huh. helping her move. It's very reminiscent of uh, season one, two, packing up the trailer. And season four, five, 13, 14, 15. Oh, that's right. They're constantly moving. Right, right, right. right. Oh, right, my right. God. So I have about two and a half weeks before I have to be out of my rental house. The boys have been a godsend. They've really helped with the packing and then helping me move the heavy boxes. Chanel and I are in the middle of moving. We've got to pick up some <laughs> Where are you? Bold. Bold. We've two and a half weeks before we're supposed to be out of this house. Basically, having moved all of our stuff into storage units and living in the RV, we're pretty strung out. Huh, they've shown the a few minutes of footage of here. so far. They've shown a few minutes of footage of Janelle and Garrison and Gabe packing up. There's a dog even helping out in there. And Cody's saying, we are moving. We, we have all this to do. There's nowhere to be found. Yeah. Nowhere to be seen. Mm. Well, the men of the family, really. I know some family members who the idea of us living in this RV makes them cringe. Why is he, like, getting off on this? This is weird. Oh, because we're I we're about to go on to Coyote Pass and do some manly shit, Jody. So oh, he is oh like, I was just going to say, did he run into yeah. someone at, like, uh, Dick's Sporting Goods and they made him feel, like, rugged and manly? So oh, no, they're they're going to, like, it? haul some rocks. Probably wouldn't consider living in an RV on the property. There's not a big enough RV for... My five kids. I bet there so is. Three though. of them are adults. But three of them are adults, so they can yeah, go bye bye. Adults. And also, I'm pretty sure we've watched you guys take several family road trips with like 26 kids in one RV. So you're fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, three of them are adults like Gabe and Gary, and they can wow. go bye bye. Yeah. And it seems like you, oh God, she's making, look at this beaker. Look at this beaks. It's unbelievable. I mean, you and I have very expressive faces, but even yeah, but that is a stretch. I can't do that. Because I think it's, it's that we both smile a lot. Like, I smile a lot. We smile. I smile, I laugh a lot, and she just doesn't. She, her face naturally turns into a frown. This is That's her sad. resting. Mm, yeah, resting beaker face. Yep. All right. Yeah. Let's just do that. <laughs> something 
something that I would want to do unless I was actually like traveling the country. I'm meeting with my friend, my neighbor, Pete Ding Dane. Dane. He's yes. Of mine who moved dirt. Okay, this might not be the guy that I recent that I earlier accused of the DV. So I, I don't oh, know. Okay. I just know he has a friend that moves rocks or something that does that. No, so I, I kind of remember that too. Yeah. Thing. Pete is putting in culverts where the water would naturally come down off the hill so that it doesn't wash out the driveway. So a culvert is basically this metal pipe that runs under whatever roadway you're building and it allows the water to flow through. Oh, he's wearing his visor. And his work gloves. Something that we can't get done completely right now. It's a stretching of a budget that's that's got... Uh, it's nerve-wracking. Imagine um, mm. that where we put the trailer would be the edge of where the drive would kind of come up. <gasps> what that made me, I would imagine that the edge of the trailer is like kind of where the drive comes up. The, these gravel layers are here, and they're like, "Okay, thank you." you it's like, look at my break. look at my sun visor, my gloves. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. I'm working hard. I'm working hard. I'm getting down in the nitty gritty. You know that all he's doing is slowing them down. <sighs> they're like, we don't give a fuck. We're dumping our gravel. <laughs> of having five homes there would be, you know, a house for Janelle, a house for Robin, a house for Mary, and then the two other lots, Christine's lot and my lot, would be so that we can rent them out as well. And this is this is what we, my mom and me, like, we paused it at this point, too, because <laughs> we were both like, or you could just not not build, not spend a yeah. million dollars a house to build. You could leave it, take the loss. Hey, sell, the if, sell those lots. If you don't even want to live on it, what makes you think people are going to want to vacation on it? And then you'd be surrounded by the Brown family. Yeah, you yourselves don't even want to be there. Christine you know what, can't get um, it out of her, like, out of her name quick enough. Oh, she does not. She's like, get it away from me. Also, you know, I just realized Robin to me has the same energy as Meredith Brooks from Salt Lake City where you know she just walks around Meredith like, Marks. Oh, Marks Meredith Marks Brooks Marks Brooks Marks <laughs> Marks where you know that the, their energy is just like do I want to get up with Ariel? No. Do I <laughs> I can't even is it 1pm in the afternoon and we still haven't risen and she still sleeps in bed with me as does Saul yeah uh, oh god he's yeah. so horned up for these construction guys there though he cannot help himself but this, I think Janelle also knows this because he's been being negative about like oh I don't think we should start building but she's like she knows that once he gets there around the masculine, yep. around the gravel and the dirt, he's going to get, again, yep. fully erect. Three inches. Uh-huh. Yep. Birds in a nest. <laughs> birds nest. Birds eggs in a nest. This bird, yeah. yeah. It's called an asset. That helps basically us survive our retirement. Oh, <laughs> thank you for mansplaining an asset. To all of us women that watch this show. That's called the We NASA. survive their retirement. What does that mean? I'm just a woman. Ay, Dios mio. Well, actually, I would argue that um, this is kind of moot because retirement means that yeah. you have something to retire from. Oh. I guess oh, so Robin would have early retirement from Sister Wife's Closet, right? Okay. Yeah, well, Who's and I mean... Vacation properties like on Coyote Pass, the highly sought after Coyote Pass, they just market themselves. People are going oh, to be yeah. flocking to the site, much like Mary's Lizzie's Heritage Victorian Hideaway or whatever the hell it's called. People would just you, cannot would, get there quick enough. Would you move into a property that Cody was like in charge of like zoning and stuff? Like oh, your God, house no. is going to explode within two oh, days. Yeah, no. No, it's going to be made no, no. so wrong. There's going to be a list of rules at that B and B or their uh, Airbnb that's like you have a one gallon a day water limit. Don't touch the wall. Um, if it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. <laughs> brown. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Brown they're family not allowed, property. They're not allowed to eat like anything fibrous. They have oh, to eat, like, yeah. pasta or something. Oh, if you have any issues on the property, you must call before 6 30 p.m. because the children of tender age will be sleeping, Amanda. Early well, bedtime. Robin has admitted to going to sleep at like 1 a.m. But the still, children. that's their alone time. They're watching TV. Obviously. Yeah. Oh, be brutal. Cody right now is watching. I always find this so funny with construction guys because I feel like this is such a classic thing where you'll see one guy doing like the what's that called? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes noise. And then the there'll always be two or three other men around just him just him. like watching. And like that's their job. This is what Cody's doing right now because his friend is like digging something. <laughs> and Cody has a has like a hoe and he just has his like hands on top of it and he's like hmm. laying one arm. Hmm. Yeah, he's like, like you, you got he's it. You're, you're almost there. Yeah, yeah. he's that, supervising. Looks, yeah, looks good. My life is in a form of limbo because Christine's leaving, and I don't know what that looks like. I, I've been sort of in the anger phase of divorce, and so no. I've not been. Oh, you? It, you know, oh. so I this, this construction project with Janelle and Pete kind of one of those things to get my mind off of my divorce frustration but i dude i am in the anger phase and every once in a while i just get tied up in knots not so first of all it's not a divorce he's in the anger phase could you tell that from him screaming into the camera for the past three seasons i mean the way that he's coping right now is really something he's being so brave yeah He's yeah, really you guys are hilarious. The face gravel face. turns him on. This is hilarious. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't even keep up, keep up with these. The gravel turns oh him God, on. Like, how hilarious. much? Yeah, how much do you think they're charging for those Airbnbs? That again, oh. they're probably not even going to register legally as an Airbnb. They'll figure out a way around it. Oh well, f the government. Cody doesn't want to have anyone telling him what to do. Not on my land. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Hmm. Oh god, sorry, I'm looking at what Christine's doing here. No, 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 no. She, oh, Christine is making a balloon arch and it looks better than every balloon arch we've ever seen on 90 Day Fiance. Ooh, okay. I mean, it doesn't look good. Yeah, this is like a thing, the balloon thing. So now I'm gonna drape it right here for you. And this way won't go. Now don't blow up any more greens until you really need them, okay? We're throwing Isabella a graduation party, a huge graduation party. Well, as big as we can have. It's going to be lit. Oh, right, yeah. Brown family. <gasps> Brown family. Isabella wants to travel really bad after graduation. So we are having a world theme. Uh, we have a lot of decorations, but they're not staying. And the food's done. Wait, there's a lady with a hammer. That was Christine. But a, but a, she's holding a hammer. That's like man work. Oh, well, I'm sure Cody was really available to help out though, right? He was just busy. Oh, okay. He wanted well, to. Well, she probably so really messed it up. You know, Christine and yeah, her ideas stupid. and her opinions. Calls Isabel and says, Hey, how about if we go hang out today before your party? And I almost freaking lost it. What? Instead of Cody saying, Hey, do you need some help with Isabel's party? Yeah. His daughter? God. Mm. Uh, okay. I love that in that this year she's finally letting herself have real reactions on the couch. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna kill him. Wow. I mean, I'm upset. <laughs> That's manipulative. If Dave were to ask me, hey, Paige, you want to go run out while I'm getting a party together for her? I'd be like, what is wrong with you? Do you see what? I'm getting ready for a party? She's helping getting ready for her own party? Oh, it's because he needs to, he wants to be able to roll into that party like da Bella da Ball and be like, well, I, don't know I know Isabel is. more than you guys. No, I think it's that he's so pissed because when he shows up later, he's like blue and he's making it very obvious to everyone he's that blue. like, mm. so can you imagine that though? Like, hey, Izzy, do you want to, do you want to hang out for the one time I've ever hung out? And remember a few seasons ago 
where Isabel's only dream for her birthday was to spend time with her dad. So he took the pixies to like San Diego or something. <laughs> San and Diego. Isabel was so excited. And so like this is his time. Oh, I guess I might as well ask her to hang out once before she leaves. He's the forever. cool dad. Oh God. And what does going out with Cody look like? Driving around. Which is what he does every other day to make it look like he's busy and actually has a well, job. That's what he did for everyone's honeymoon, except for Robin's, because they got an 11 day. Oh, well, they needed the it. They needed it. Their precious time together. So now we got truly in her transition. <laughs> Aww, her poor transition. Kind of like, I mean, Christine loves her, but you can tell Christine's kind of like, okay, like you're not really helping because you're like 12. So you <laughs> it's like any mom. I kind of need you out of my yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> She's doing her best. Truly's help. You're doing great, kid. <laughs> Shady. You're living your best life. I like it. I want to support Cody's relationship with his kids. So I'm going to play nice. Things are not going to get done, though. I'm just telling you now. Mm. See, look, that it's balloon hard. thing looks it's pretty good. Everyone, it is. COVID test or the <laughs> Meanwhile, right back here, as, as Christine is talking, <laughs> Isabel is swinging and swinging. No, that's truly. Oh, that's what I meant. It, yeah, truly. Just swinging, swinging away on a hammock. My God, what I would give to see that thing just <laughs> not because it's truly, but because I love just people wiping funny. out on yeah, it's funny. hammocks. And everybody that lives in Flagstaff is coming and we get a hug and touch people. And that's what I was hoping for, or was to get everybody together um, so everybody can hug. So that's really what this is all about. I just told the adults a few weeks ago that I was leaving Cody and I was moving back to Utah, hopefully in September. No secret that Cody and I had been in a rough spot for a long time. And I have decided to leave. I'm going to leave Cody. And we haven't talked since. Oh my God, how beautiful is this bell cheese? Oh, this whole sequence, my mom was just like, oh my God, oh, look at that, how much she looks like her mom. Oh, Savannah, oh, wow. Her Which mom. One that? Oh, that one really looks like his dad, poor thing. The Gabe. Oh. <laughs> so Gabe has very womanly hips. God. To get together just two weeks after I told him I was leaving Cody. But I also wanted them to know that this might be one of the last times we get together. Christine has told us that she's leaving Cody for good. So I'm a little bit nervous because I'm like, okay, are we going to be able to be around each other and be normal and natural and comfortable? Or is it going to be She tense? has been. I don't know. Yeah, she fucking let you watch McKelty like crowning. Yeah, and also She'll she's inviting fine. you. She's inviting you over to this party at her house. So Christine's good. Uh, well, well Robin acts be okay? beyond awkward during this whole thing. Oh, shocking! Like, but Robin, like, wait, but Cody said Robin is like really good at relationships and that kind she's of a stuff. She's a problem so solver. Yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah I, don't know. I don't get weird. it. What kids know that I'm leaving Cody? All of my kids, except for Truly, know. Um, and I know that Janelle's kids know, but I don't know about Robin's kids or Mariah. I really have no idea. Hmm. I, I, okay, you don't think Robin's kids know? You don't think that Cody came home slamming doors that night going, she is leaving my ass, that woman. Like, all the kids know Cody. Oh, I think it's Robin. I think Robin is the one. Remember, she sat Robin her kids down at... Yep. Uh-huh. And was Christine like, doesn't oh, want to come? they want to be with their own kids. They don't want to be don't with like you. you. So. They don't love you as much. It's just going to be us. My kids know Christine's leaving. I don't think Gabriel and Garrison are really that concerned because they're already talking about visiting Christine in Utah. They just Aww. see it as a disruption, yeah. not a discontinuation. Okay, you guys can get out of your seats now. So I don't understand what's happening here because Robin has arrived alone in her car and Cody has arrived in his Titan VS with the kids of a um, tender, tender age. 
So why are they uh, arriving separately? Oh, well, I guess Aurora, Aurora, Dane and Aurora Brianna are there. So are they with Cody Aurora. or are they with Robin? I they're with, I don't know. Probably because Robin was like, I have so many kids, Cody. I can't drive with all five in my car. So we can't arrive together. We have together. so many kids. Oh, like this. We can't make it look like we're ones. only seeing each I other. Yep. Kids, even so in our oh, wait, hold on. Pause. I think I got it. What? This is absolutely yeah. it. Any other mom who has issues with perhaps family members and laws. Um, I bet you anything she's like, let's take two cars because if I need to leave early with Saul yes. and Ari, yes, they're, yep. they're sweepy, they need nap time. Then she or can if take Robin off feels early offended by something Christine says passive aggressive. But it'll really it'll be the kids of a tender age need to get home. Right. That's why. Mm, right. Oh god. Christine. Dana and Brianna are sad and confused. She really, I mean, surviving sister wives always like that's the they pointed that out, but I can't. I mean, Dana and Brianna, Dana how are they? How are they sad and what? What's confusing at this point? You and I both had parents that were divorced at this age or earlier, and it wasn't that confusing. It was like okay, yes, yeah, like that's especially because it's not affecting their life in any way, shape, hasn't or form. Changed. They haven't seen them in two years because yeah. of COVID nineteen protocols. So and frustrated. Sol and Ari are so confused. Uh, they're more Nothing confused was. about. Wait, who's who's Christine? That's what that's what they're confused I was just about. Gonna say they're confused because <laughs> when you're throwing names around like Isabel and Truly, Wonderland. they're like, "Who is that?" Yeah, don't know. We don't know who that is, right? That's Be why they're confused. Speaker face, yes, exactly. Yeah, that, that's how we would spell it. <sighs> Damn, yeah. Damn. <laughs> right. And Petey Sanderson, says, "Okay." If Cindy Peterson. Okay, 22 and 20. Yeah, young, you're adult. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, like, come on. Jesus Absolutely. Christ. Well, because they listen to the man of the house rules. They're mm. obedient. They, but I will say this upcoming scene is very cute and it makes me kind of like Aurora a little bit. They all seem Ar genuinely happy to see each Aurora other. Aurora like, or Brianna? Aurora and Brianna. But Aurora, usually I okay. like Brianna. I Brace like myself. Aurora in this. She's very sweet. She does seem genuinely excited to see her siblings. No, they are siblings. They're siblings. And oh, okay. um, Isabel's about to run up to Ariella, and Ariella seems genuinely happy to see her, like excited, not like kid, like okay. where they're like, who is this? So maybe they, maybe the kids will last. So the know. kids seem fine, is what you're saying. <laughs> right. Now, speaking of things that are not fine, we got. At uh, 2853, we got Robin's neck goiter about to tell us about this. God, it's flaring. Here's Cody walking in hand in hand. Not with... cap in hand. No, not cap in hand. Oh. <laughs> no uh, visor in hand with Saul and Ari. Ari is holding the most lifelike baby I've ever seen that my mom <laughs> actually thought. She's like, oh, whose baby is that? I was like, it's Ariella. It's yeah, right. Weird. Janelle's kids seem to embrace Robin's kids as if and it's Cody, nothing. Cody's about to say, look, it's Garrison, Gabe, and Savannah. Because you know he has to say that to be like, you know their names. Yep, that was really yep. embarrassing. Like we studied. Like, yeah, yeah. We, we looked at the picture chart. Garrison yep. and Savannah. For a lot of reasons, we haven't gotten together. COVID being one of them. There's so many issues still kind of happening that it was just like, it's too raw to get together. I don't know exactly, but you know, I, I don't know. I'm really glad the kids are able to all interact now. See, like that was kind of a cute moment, right? And Isabel is like the hostess with the mostest in this episode like hi you're so no one pretty. has ever been so happy Aww. hi you're so pretty and she is just she is mingling she's walking around the whole party she's so happy to see everyone so that's kind of nice cody on the other hand it's almost like they haven't seen each other in a long time <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> country and she's gonna live with maddie and caleb and go to school in north carolina look at this <gasps> oh did you see oh what just god. happened wait, wait 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 oh god i need to, i want to rewind that and make sure 
that okay robin sees her right yeah, i need let's to go back it. and look at that so what we're looking at is that I'm at 29, oh 30. god like my my butt cheeks are so clenched right now yeah, that was, awkward. That was that so was bad because we've all been in that isabel is like following robin like hey hi hi I'm but here, Robin hello. is passing behind her. I think looking at her. I'm going to try to pretending this out. like she doesn't see her. Yeah, go I'm back. I'm at 29:39. I uh, Isabel Isabel is, is hugging, hugging Gabe and Gary, Gabe. pretending like 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 we didn't just see each other this morning. Oh, actually, I guess Robin doesn't see her. Okay, no, Robin I'm, sees her in her. peripheral. Come on. I'm really happy that the kids are Bullshit. Having a good time. I cannot get out from under this cloud. Of well, you're the parent, so that's kind of your job. Yeah. And also, it's not about you today. If you feel under a cloud or blue, get over it. It's her All party. the kids are having fun. This is, is Also, I think he kind of, wait, didn't he do something to Isabel a couple seasons ago that was kind of hurtful? That maybe he should be making up for now. I oh, I, I know what you're thinking, but um, she promised that she wasn't gonna be a bitter old housewife oh, and yes. daddy issues. So it's definitely not that. It's not that at all. Oh, good lord. Sadness. And it's because of the nuance of, of a breakup. Oh, Christine's fault, in other words. Because none of us have ever had to walk through life during a breakup and have to, you know, suck it up for our kids or for our job or yeah. for our life and try to put on a happy face. No, Cody's the only one that's been uh, affected. The, by the awkwardness is because of the breakup, which is because of Christine. So it's all Christine's yeah. fault. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. Christine is fine. She's like, hey, guys, welcome yeah. to the party. Talking to Robin. Also, awkwardly, her and Robin are wearing the exact same Lula Rose shirt, but a different print. I noticed that in the previews. <laughs> so, uh, I like, would run Ooh. inside and change. Yeah. I don't know what else is going to go on. I was honestly relieved. <gasps> Tony, whoa. I was <laughs> wasn't ready oh. for that. My mom goes, oh, I hate this guy. I can't stand <laughs> this guy. What a loser. Oh, Tony, girl, I was my not ready goes, for that. I thought, she, I thought he was a girl the first time I saw him on camera. So I was like, well, I cannot lie and say that I did not think that as well the first time I saw him. He's just a big personality. He, he takes a minute to get used to. A minute. With my mom and dad getting a divorce, I did see it coming. Of course, like, I'm sad about it. All right, here we go. Right now, I'm just trying to be present here. And just focus here. It's so windy at this party, and yeah. it's like not working out, and everyone's just trying to make the best of it. But I, I'd be frustrated. I was tied for now. Tied? Okay. I think with my mom and my dad getting a divorce, if I'm honest, I did see it coming. But of course, like I'm sad mm -hmm. about it. Like I mean, sometimes it just doesn't work out, and I'm happy that my mom will be able to find somebody who she's really, really, really happy with. I was honestly relieved when I heard my mom was leaving my dad. They're not happy. They're not in love. I thought it was a little inevitable. Oh, Justine, Whoa. that is a good point. He does look like Lewis from Teen Mom. Tony. Like he really does resemble Lewis from Teen Mom. Brianna's Stella's dad. You're, you're seeing it in the in the bug eyes a little bit. If he shaved his head. And, okay. you know, abandon his kids completely, then he would be Lewis. <laughs> I could see that. <laughs> and was everything to Lewis. Isn't. I thought you were pausing because Tony's saying, it's a little inevitable. Inevitable is a very big word for Tony. Inevitable. Inevitable. Tres leches kick. <laughs> you might get hit with a stick. Everyone stand back. You might get hit by a stick. Well, I'm excited that we're talking about Tony McKelvey's <laughs> wedding right now because keep that in mind. I can't imagine any man being perfect enough to be able to handle four wives. I've got what feels like very strained relationships with a bunch of the kids. I'm not in a good place with everybody. And it's not that I'm trying to be angry or trying to... So what Cody's doing here is everyone around him is having fun and he's just brought this toxic energy and he is sitting in the middle. Um, yeah, just 
shaking his two curls. Mm. And it's just, he knows what he's doing. Like, oh. He's God. waiting for Even someone to come Mary up and be like, doing this. what's Mary wrong? Mary isn't being as dear as he is. He, he like, wants someone to come over and be like, hey, daddy, can I sit okay? on your lap? What's wrong? Mm. He wants his little sweetie to come over and pay attention to him. Yeah, it's all about him getting attention. He's not getting any, so he's going to pout. Wait, Christina, why did you write yeast? <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like there is a strain of yeast just kind of in places. Like infection I'm, I'm thinking in regards to, I don't know. Cain Corso, the Mormon women. Is this something that we need to know? No. My husband. Oh. Okay. Okay. King Cor Corso is a dog, though. Oh. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll, we'll figure that out later. Yeah. I'm going to go through all these comments later. I promise. Yeah, we got Cody on the brain. Yeah. yeah. In this moment or anything like that, I don't feel like I've got the respect that I should have. Oh, oh my God. Enough with the fucking respect. Jesus Christ. I don't even think I'm owed as much respect as Cody is. No, you're an adult. You're the parent. They owe you nothing. They owe you nothing. nothing. You're the yeah, parent yeah. here. Well, no, they owe him respect if he had been a father figure. Well, if it's you like earned it, probably owe him respect. If you earned it, think about it. if you had a. Yeah. I'm not saying he's a serial killer, but if you had a serial killer as a parent, do you are you just supposed to automatically love them and respect them? No. Oh, Christina says Cane Corso mom raises Cane Corso dogs. Okay, so that that explains the screen image. She's Mormon. Oh, Mormon. Yeah, I want to look that up. I'm interested in that. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not okay. Uh, I'm here in a. I'm here. I'm in a funk. It's a, <sighs> a kind of a this loneliness uh, uh, combined with a bitterness with the entire family because he's not center of attention yeah okay everybody okay hey everybody it's time to gather up i'm gonna get the cake ready we can sing happy birthday to Izzy. so isabel you're 18. i'll Our, forgive that because it's christine step. otherwise i don't like that yeah hey ariella get your dirty disgusting baby away from the pineapple upside down cake please yeah you like get laid it like on away the cake. <laughs> your six back away are you sweet 17. oh no uh, i'm almost sweet 18. oh yeah this you're... is an 18 party and there's that the producer was like jizzing on themselves when they got that footage Oh my god. And the way she said it back was no, actually, it's a sweet 18 party. I'm actually 18. She could have been such a mm, about that in that moment. She could have let him have it. Yeah, but that was good enough because now he know because you know you can see the second that he knows oh, he felt shit, like an that was idiot. On camera. Uh, oh yeah, huh? you know, oh, wait, yeah, because you're 18. Okay. This is her graduation party. Yeah. So she's going to be near 18. Also, yeah. I love that Christine dropped that little nugget that he wanted to see her before the party. Yeah. Giving even more reason why he should know that she's 18. They probably would have had a conversation of some kind. Does he, I just need to know, spoil this for me. Does he explain that away? No. Why he didn't know it was... Nope. This is my exact relationship with my dad. I texted him a whole bunch of stuff the other day and he never got back to me. It went green. And then all of a sudden I was like, hey, I just noticed how uh, Giants in the Sky is kind of a parallel song to I Know Things Now and Into the Woods. And he immediately got back to me. He's like, what do you mean by that? And then we talked about it. He's like, mm, I'll have to mull it over. No, no, I haven't heard from him since. But he just, this is the, ex it's a parallel relationship to her and Cody. Yeah. They, they'll talk about... They probably have two subjects that they'll talk about and he knows nothing else about it. Is there a reason maybe why you and I are drawn to this show? <laughs> yeah. might have like, oh, I just realized <laughs> that. And why we hate, why probably we everyone might be like on projecting our chat. Much. 
why all 253 people talking right now probably have equal daddy. Right. Because <laughs> every single comment in the chat is, I don't think I could hate him more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everyone's like, yep, been there, been yeah. there. And it stings. Oh my God, what a monster. And I, but I love that it's on camera. Love it. Well, he knows it too. And he's like trying so hard to like fix this now. Your sweet 18. <laughs> that was a question. I'll get you a new car. Thank you. I'm excited. That was worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. Meaning my old car. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to inherit Janelle's jalopy. <laughs> well, no, remember, because he's going to take Janelle's new one. So she gets and... the truck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he so gets she... the truck. Yeah. People Someone have been speculating that she gets um, his sports car from season one. His probably for car. that, probably because of that moment, because he's like his, oh, his I skipped cool her sports surgery, cars. Called her a bitter old housewife. Wasn't there for her recovery, and now mm -hmm. I just forgot her goddamn birthday. Yep. Yeah. Well, I guess that deserves a sports car. A sweet sixteen birthday party is a birthday party where the girl hasn't been kissed. Not a thing. I, I don't know where this term this? came from. It was something I was hearing in high school. Was You're, you know a girl who you heard it from Robin? Hasn't ever kissed a boy. <laughs> and young women or men and women should both do the same thing. You protect yourself. What? You find trust before you're driven mad with sexuality. Sexuality oh, or hormones. Hormones. Also, um, so Cody's solution to that is just to get married. To multiple women, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, By the way, if anyone's in the chat that ha doesn't aren't obsessed with the show like us, if you knew, um, I don't know if you guys knew, when you kiss someone, their hormones go into their your mouth. Right. Right. And then Cody, so you shouldn't. Heart. So, according to Cody's theories, you shouldn't kiss or do anything before you're married. No. Right. So get married if you kiss someone. Right. He married Maddie totally off at 20 cool. to a 30 year old. Yeah. Well, 20. but that's his bro. Best friends. BFFs. Oh God. When, yeah, when didn't he, he kiss hugs... Robin before a marriage? Yes, he did. Plenty of kisses. They also shared some hot chocolate with marshmallows. Mmm. There's like the a giant mutant squirrel like climbing around the street. Yes. Okay. So sweet 16 is not about like being kissed or anything. Oh, it's just sweet it? 16. It's also not sweet 17 or sweet 18. It's sweet 16. <laughs> well, um, what about his little sweetie though? Oh, oh God. Sweetie he's Areola. She's, ha she's already fitted with a chastity belt. I think right now. Ew, gross. Uh, yeah. Megan, Robin kissed him before marriage uh, a few times, but the ones we saw on camera was after he proposed with a, like piece of string that Maddie made and didn't probably give so him permission fun. to give her. And then the, so the other fun. time we saw was as he was running out, as Christine was crowning in the right. hospital, Literally. Robin ran out and was like, wait, do you want any granola bars, Cody, before you go to the hospital? And then they kissed. <laughs> and they thought it was so cute. They were like, I just couldn't resist it. Ooh. Yeah. Can't Ew. give your purity away. Robin, give Solomon some space. Where we were before the, thing, the COVID hit back. We're just very family again, which is really nice. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Solomon is a very good looking kid. He's fine. He, well, I mean, he's got a strong jaw. Like boys oh. are supposed to have. I guess uh, it just... I'm sweet. not gonna go to. Uh, no, I'm not gonna go there. You know who I want to talk about from Teen Mom, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do uh, it. I actually don't. Who? Sexy baby. Oh, sexy baby. It feels like old times for sure right now, and I just kind of want to hang on to this moment because I just don't know when the next time will be that we'll be doing this i think you should tell some stories about these pictures like they're so oh good idea Daddy. okay so this, is, this is a fun picture with gwendolyn okay jody i need you to brace yourself with what's about what's about to happen here you guys in the chat know who's watched this 
Jody has okay. no idea what's about to happen. You don't. Oh god. Okay. 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 Well, I'm just gonna burst my stuff. We're trying to distract Isabel so we can sort of set up for the song, but we want to do something special for her. Oh no. So we're setting up a uh, guitar and uh, a mic so <gasps> we can sing this song for Isabel, and and we're trying to distract her over here while we get set up. This is I love this one where she's just snarfing. This is my first birthday. Making a mess of that herself. One is your first birthday? Yeah. Aurora's going to start plucking away on her guitar and then start doing the song. And then I'm going to sing. And then Gabe's <gasps> going to join. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just got chills all over. I mean, the, I, that was, that I'm, I didn't feel pain in my back for that one, one second. Okay. My, my mom was like, oh, she's going to sing. And I was like, I'm like, I don't, I'm like, you don't even know what. This okay, like the so wave of emotions I just had right now, because I went like my mind immediately went to Brown Family Mosh Pit. Like they're gonna have a Brown Family dance party. Right, sure. Oh no. Okay, and then it went to oh god, that douchey guy who's always got a guitar who's gonna strum something, and of course it's Aurora who's doing it. Yeah, but I think I, I find this endearing, and she's actually good at the guitar. I, I and, cannot play the guitar. Okay. And then I went to, oh God, are we gonna have one of those things where we have to go through photos? And the person explains everything about the photo, like when someone goes on vacation. I got about that too, yeah. Okay, but now Christine's gonna sing. Is it? Wait, wait. I just have to know. Is it? Let me call you, sweetheart. No. And what you're going to notice here? Okay. 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 Is Christine has definitely taken notes from probably the millions of people that have ever made fun of her for that. Okay. Oh, wait. She... I just realized that I was like clenching my butt cheeks in my <laughs> sitting like five inches lower. Okay. When she said she was going to sing, I was like, I can't believe she would be this brave to do that because she knows that this is like one of the longest running inside jokes for this show. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's taken notes. Okay. On keys, at least. On okay. what keys she should be living in. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, now, I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not saying it. It's, I'm not going to set you up for any high expectations. Though. Wait, is it a song that I know? Yeah. Uh, I love this. Is it too. like Joni Mitchell? And I honestly did get emotional. Uh, no, it's more, I think it's, uh, well, I won't even say it. it. It's a song you'll definitely recognize. And I got a little choked okay. up during this. And a lot of people in the chat were saying that they did too. Beaches, so... Wind Beneath My Wings. Oh, it's, it's close to that. It's in that same kind of genre. Yeah, Sexy okay. Baby is Lincoln from Teen Mom 2. Like, don't worry about that. It's not as bad as you think it is. It's not. No. It's, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't, yeah. Don't flag this video. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, don't Justine cried too. No, this is, it's kind of okay. sweet, but it's also like everything we've ever wanted. And Brianna gets a little solo and it's a little cringy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> As far as I know, this is a complete surprise for her. I didn't practice the song yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Thanks, Janelle. <laughs> Christine goes, everyone's been practicing their ass off. And Janelle's like, I didn't practice the shit. <laughs> Look at like, this. I've been practicing emptying the shitter. It's a very appropriate song for some Okay, go away, Ariola. She starts hearing the song and we've got her immediately. Mary is not singing. She's holding the baby doll and rocking it back and forth. Uh, Robin's singing and Cody are singing. Shut up. Also, Ariola, don't come running over and like, yeah, it's not about God, get you. away. I like that oh. song though. Isn't that like Natasha Bedingfield? It's the Hills theme song or the Laguna Beach theme song. The Hills? Uh, Laguna Beach. I think it's the Hills. Okay. I, I wasn't expecting that song. I'm a little let down. Cody. I would do everything <laughs> I own. Give up my world, my life, my home. He's a singer. Okay. 
I'm not going to lie. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, we recapped that episode on our Patreon where Cody sang, Last what week, is it, I bread? Think. Yeah, bread. it was bread. Yeah. That Everything was he Mary's wedding song, and he sang that, and he was like, he got that octave way up there. I mean, like yeah. probably four octaves higher than I can get. And I listened to that song on a loop. It was like Friday or Saturday. I had some tears in my eyes. I it's got a it. great was- song. Justina saying Hillary Duff was Laguna Beach. Okay. Natasha Bonfield okay. might have been. Oh, no. Hillary Duff was Laguna Beach. Okay. So there was everyone was saying that this is the hills. I thought this was going to be. It was kind of breaking up at first, but I thought it was going to be um, like, there are places I remember. Oh, yeah. That's what that's, I thought this was going to be. That Brad's wedding song. Oh. As we did like a candle lighting or something like that. Um, oh, I love that. <sighs> yeah. <what's happening? laughs> the joy on my face. Like, oh, God, we're doing this. I don't like that Robin's okay, like, she was like doing some little sway clap. No, she she had no rhythm. Uh, do you think they would have had to get rights to the song then, huh? Good point. Maybe it's. I mean, they're um, they're they're swinging for more than "Let Me Call You Sweetheart" this this year. Oof, was a high G. <gasps> no I don't like the way. You're... No one else, no one yeah, get out of there, Ariola. Is really sweet for them to do. Oh, no, no, no. You know, the three of those girls are really pretty close. That was Brianna. That was Christine. Bravo! Oh, yikes. Brianna okay, got so, brown and dirty there for a second. Yeah. So no, I, like no, the the rain on your skin. <laughs> I, I don't like this motion either. Like if you actually don't know how to sing with the microphone. Um, is it just because I don't like Aurora that I don't like the way she's like playing I like this? Like I she's Cheryl so Crow ad- or something? Adorable. I think it's cute. I think she looks so pretty doing that. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Aurora, okay? Sue me. Or no, jump, because I, I have nothing. But... Can I just get a gift card next time? Um, yeah. I just feel like now we're making about Roman's coons. Yeah, Brianna's acting like she's on stage with Beyonce. Hey, we don't mention Oh, Beyonce like she's on... on the <laughs> don't you utter don't Beyonce's name here. Her. Like, this is an American Idol. Can we get the other kids up here, please? But I mean, my, God bless but, Isabel. Yeah. So sweet. Being like, oh my God, I love it. And Isabel, as everyone knows, is our biggest fan. She yes, has a bat for she, us. She loves the title of our podcast. Mm-hmm. Christine and on the other Christine hand. got the note about lowering, staying in the low. I mean, it wasn't, this was. You no can live down life. here. Yeah, you can live down here. And it mm-hmm. sounds fine. Instead of way up there. <laughs> You want to sell up here, yeah. not sing up here. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Oh, it was perfect. Then the best part, Isabel was surprised, and then she was touched, and she loved it. So it's just, it's the best. Truly, it's like no one asked me, but. Um... <laughs> How does this not work for everybody? Why isn't this something we're staying for? The message that we had to the world about polygamy um, seems so dysfunctional now. Oh, yeah, no shit. Oh, that's something. I'm just excited to be here. It's like, it's healing. It's nice. The party, I think, went really well. I think everyone had a good time. I think overall, it was successful. Oh, I love it now. Sweet girl. The graduation party is a crazy thing, especially since Isabel's moving away. She just glows happiness. It's going to be kind of a bummer not to be able to see her very often. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate you. I'm glad we were able to do that. I'm extremely proud of her. Um, she's just full of grace yeah. and kindness. 
and just sweet, but so much strength. Yeah. And she's dealt with so much scoliosis, migraines. She's oh, had a rough than the rest of my kids. Here's yeah, my, my mom was like, oh, migraines. She's an amazing person. Do you hear that? You guys are amaze balls. <laughs> she so much after her mother. We're going paintballing. <laughs> She does think after Christine. She is yeah. so gracious and sweet, though. Yeah. Like, she made everyone feel so appreciated to just show up. Mm hmm And Aurora, like, Aurora seemed like she does love her. Like, we don't see the inner workings of the kids as sure. much as I wish we, we had. Especially Robin's Yeah. Kids, yeah. So tender. So now she's going to move to North Carolina and live with Maddie and Caleb. And Aww. it's going to be really great, because... She will be able to get out and kind of experience the world outside of her mom's home, outside of Flagstaff. But she'll be sort of in a safe, protected environment because Patty and Caleb will be there. Hmm. Here's Cody with all the three tender kids and Gwendolyn as they jump on the tramp. And Cody's just like double bouncing. Them. Yeah. And also being like, careful, Ariola and Solomon. Yeah. Careful, careful. He doesn't have any interest in talking to the adults. He just wants to talk to nope. the three kids. Oh, wait, no, hold on. You mix that up. No one has interest in talking to him. Yeah. So he yeah. has to go play with the little Blue. kids. Yep. It's strange because, like, I, we're, we're in this moment and we're having a nice time. How is this wrong? How does this not work for everybody? Robin, suck it up. This is how most families are. You see each other a few times a year. It goes great. Then you go back to your fucking lives. And you go back to your mansion and Janelle goes to her RV on the land with her shitter. Yeah, and also, like, you could be doing this more if you came around more and allowed your precious children that you don't yeah. want around anyone. That's why it's cool because now everyone else is being welcoming to you is treating you in a way that you have not treated everyone else yeah that's what's happening i don't if you know came around I, more, just... <sighs> I can't wait until next season because that'll be when everyone has when all the family has seen our reactions to all of this because mm. they still didn't really know around this time as much yep why isn't this something worth fighting for? Why isn't this something worth staying for? Oh, I hate that God, they're matching. I hate that they're matched. They're wearing the identical shirt. Same print, it. just Robin's in purple and pink and Christine's in red and white. Yeah, and also it's not worth fighting for because they don't ever get to see him outside of this. That maybe something will spark for someone and they'll just go oh this is worth figuring out sticking around because i don't know i would look at it and think that god this baby doll is getting more attention in this thing than isabel in this party that's Especially because it's Cody. super awkward it's just something to talk about and this whole like oh isn't yeah. this worth uh, fighting for oh so you want them to put up with a shitty husband to hang out with you and your kids once every graduation that's what they should be hanging on for because yeah this, this is, is good yeah this is what um this is Ugh. robin's kind of way of saying of agreeing with cody like well she's probably not going to find anything different yeah, uh, yep yep it could make christine feel like hey this is worth staying for this this one party is yeah. going to make Christine go, no, I'll stay. It's fine. So look how great it is when me and my kids and Cody come over, beaker face. Why aren't you willing to, to stick it out? Because it's so good when we do come over. Yeah, that's what she's saying. She's saying, she's saying uh, it, it's worth it to just stay for those three or four times a year where yeah. we do hang out. Mm -hmm. I believe God can... Um make miracles happen like getting a rental yeah like minute? making it rain properties on you yeah and zero job yeah i wonder if it's a game 
you know, when I look at days like this, when we're all together and we're smiling and we're setting the crap aside, like, why can't we do that? Why can't we work on the things that we need to work on between each other? We're not doing justice to our family and we're not doing, you know, justice to Ariella and Solomon and truly these little ones who really need to have that security of family. <laughs> I'm devoted to, you know, doing what I need to do. I know that not everybody is. Okay, stop, stop, stop. It feels like there's that that's bull. And uh Michelle, thank you for saying this because I was gonna point this out too. Mary would have been out of there if Sam were real and were not a catfish. Oh, so yeah. Well, he was. She like, was leaving his ass. Yeah. She would, do you want me to find it? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm always happy to hear that. Clip. Oh, oh, here we go. Got to turn up my volume here. Volume up. She was leaving my ass. I mean, he made a good point oh, there. Like, she was leaving. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. Please. She was leaving his ass. Absolutely. Interesting She's also scary. choice for a pineapple cake. Yeah. It, is that uh, chocolate shavings on there? That's an interesting I combo. Think so. My, Daphne goes, is that cake big enough for this whole family? <laughs> Ooh, sick burn, <laughs> Daphne. She, loves, oh, she, got him. she loves a good portion sting. <laughs> Oh, we're Robin's over there first, helping I'm herself. Not very optimistic that we'll see very many days like this. Did you say the quiche is gluten free? The quiche is gluten free. Yes. Are you? Is that his health goals? Is yeah, that his yeah. health goals that he talked yeah, about last week? Cody is not one to hide his emotions, though. He's more like going to show you how he's feeling, and I think he's just super sad. And it's bittersweet. Mm. He loves sad. Isabel, and he hasn't spent enough time with her, and I think he's probably realizing that. Hmm. Mm hmm. Or it's that the cameras are around actually catching how often he is around. Not a hitch. It's been wonderful. And I think well, other than when you publicly admitted that you don't know how old your daughter is. That was Yeah, something. there's that too. Yeah. yeah. And then there was that whole singing part too. <laughs> I'm just blue. So pull your britches up. We will never be there again. Bridges. If we really go through this as Christine is leaving. Is she really going to leave? I'm living in a delusional world where I'm wishing that Christine wouldn't leave. Hmm. I was wishing Isabel would go to school here. We would be able to maintain some... Do you notice that Peyton's not in that picture? Yeah, I noticed that. I think some of them just weren't there. Yeah. Relationship. I'm struggling with sort of a state of regret and frustration. Huh. It's a weird thing to be getting left. Oh! It's, it's just now dawning on him, like, huh. She's actually almost, leaving. Almost like a... Uh, Christine and Mary and Janelle might have been feeling like they were getting left for the past yeah. 10 years while you yeah. took off with your new wife to for 11 days after they gave birth and all that kind of stuff, right? Oh, God, he's such a piece of work. It's made me question getting into plural marriage. It's made me question my faith and especially question my religion the message that we had to the world about functional polygamy um, seems so dysfunctional now. My mom goes, Weird. oh, well, no duh, guy. <laughs> no duh. <laughs> Next time on Sister Wives. Are you still truly in the movie too, Todd? Uh-huh. It feels hostile to me. I don't want to be antagonistic or disagreeable, but I don't want then to... Then don't. I don't want to be ant antagonistic or disagreeable, but I don't want to agree to anything. I just feel like I don't want to. I don't know what she's going to say, but I just feel like I don't want to. Yeah, Christine doesn't get you. Christine's like, okay, well, it's not. Well, cool. It doesn't matter. I'm Boondocks. Oh, 
from docking. There's no septic, there's no water, and there's no power. Oh, this is great. It's big. I do not want to live in the trailer. Janelle has a tiny little kitchen and a tiny little house and a tiny little bathroom. Why am I going to sit here? And you have a tiny little... Yeah. And also, why would I live in Janelle's RV when I have a mansion with the one wife that I... Does he even I love can see my though? mansion from my yeah. house, basically. Yeah. Yeah. It's so little. Oh, I don't want to. talking about me moving to Utah. But I looked behind me and there was truly... <laughs> that was the worst conversation of my life. No. And that's that oh Christine. oh my god my back hurts oh my gosh okay there's so many things i want to say that i hate cody wow yeah. so he's sitting there he's blue because oh things could have been different and we like mm, i want more time like this harumph the only like there's something he can do like about it. that yeah. well you know where it actually could be like this if maybe Cody and Robin hosted something at their house? Or if Cody hadn't met Robin at all. <laughs> True. But then we Gosh. wouldn't have a guitar player for... Uh... True. I wonder how she learned how to play the guitar. Maybe they had like a guitar nanny who also followed the rules. Well, remember Cody brought bought Robin that guitar that one Christmas because Robin's always wanted a guitar, Cody. Uh, wasn't that the same Christmas he bought Christine like a toaster or something like that? No, he bought her like a ring that she had specifically asked oh, for. Right. Oh, and then remember that one time they gave him a laptop for his birthday and, and he was, was like... He was blue about it. <sighs> yeah. So it just makes me think laptop. of work. Well, but... I mean, you don't yeah, maybe it was a hint. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Get to work. Wow, Cody is such a horrible person. Oh, what I would give to be a fly on the wall in that house when these episodes air. God, so what did you guys think? That was wild. Yeah, he believes in polygamy as long as, really good point here. He believes in polygamy as long as women don't use their brains or make choices or disagree with him. I mean, really, it's just, listen, most of us are ladies here. I think we can all agree. Like, it's just, it's just easier to go with the patriarchy. You know, I think we should just get back to that. Well, make it easier it on everyone. Easier. I think it is easier sometimes if you're lazy and you don't want to like, if you just, I think if you're lazy, it's easier to go with that. Mm, yeah. Because she doesn't want to get a job. Well, men always make better decisions. Oh, they just see things really clearer. Well. Right. They just know how things work. Reminds me of Gaston. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Oh, he, he totally is Gaston. No one. Who's LeFou? Who's his little LeFou? He wants Caleb to be LeFou. But really, it's like the other way around. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, Caleb. Oh, Truly. no. <laughs> oh, stop it. Ariola. Janelle. Oh, Janelle's not LeFou. <laughs> Janelle might be Belle's father. No. Belle's father is a little more affectionate than Janelle. Yeah. Belle, I mean, obviously is Isabel. Like, Isabel is Belle. Isabel. Isabel. Pacabel. Pacabel. <laughs> there we go. God. Oh, oh, Mary. Oh, Mary's definitely like the. Uh, She's like third string furniture piece. Like she's not the wardrobe that comes back to life. She's definitely not Mrs. Potts or Chip. The wardrobe is like the worst part. And I've played that part. So that would be. Oh, stop be it. Stop no, it. It's a bad part. It's just like the least exciting part. Um, oh, I thought LeFou it was just was his like. Friend that Nancy says LeFou is his friend that insulted Christine. So Ken. Oh, Ken. Asian guy. The guy who I think was yeah. Asian, but he wasn't. Yeah, he's not at all. Oh, Christine is like the sexy little duster. Oh, yeah. She's like, oh, that monsieur. That. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I would love Peyton. to see him. I was going to say, Peyton's oh, Peyton definitely Peyton the guy be... that's like, Peyton's like the, kill the beast! He's that guy that like goes with the log and like well, knocks down the door. On. He could be with No. Peyton's like a, um, he's a villager. He's like a very aggressive villager. 
Or like the the innkeeper. Oh. I can get like really into this. I can fanfic. I know, me uh, too, but my back is starting. I, my ibuprofen is wearing the off. So in we the need corner. To oh my gosh. Okay. Well, you guys are the greatest. Thanks for watching. We have a fun week on Total Request Podcast. We're doing a, a Halloween month with lots of throwbacks. We already did community, Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Also, actually, Community, woof. Yeah, she hated Blush Community, sitcom, way woof. more than Big Bang. And we have coming up, what did you say we had coming up? Why am I blanking again? Um, uh, Kim, uh, Parks and Rec, Greg Pakaitis, and Bob's, Bob's Burgers. Burgers, Sports Night, Fart Night. <laughs> That's right. And then we're wrapping up Beverly Hill, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, with the Tell All Reunions and throwback sister wives episode so check those out we love yoto and red bubble we got some uh which way am i going Mark. coyote pass stuff you guys know all the links please subscribe and anything else no, you're all adults though bye bye uh, bye bye Wait, i don't i don't have it ready yet <laughs> I mean, this is so, this is so on, uh, on brand here. All right, here we go. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Well, guys, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for joining us today on our We Love to Hate Everything channel. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like or even a comment. And click on that bell if you want notifications because you never know when we might pop up and go live. Please check out our other two podcasts on Patreon, where we snark on even more TV, movies, and pop culture. We got Total Request Podcast, that's patreon.com slash trpod, and we love to hate TV, patreon.com slash love to hate TV. Thanks again, and we will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>